Well, very good day to you folks. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Speed Gaming. We bring you a very special race today in the Metroid Prime 1 and 2 Cross Game Cup. Today, we've got a very special race between Team Orange Cats and Team No Gain All Pain. I'm Captain MD, and today I'm joined by Bello Quiquini. How you doing today? Hello. Hello, Speed Gaming. Uh, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, we've got some uh, some pretty good racers here on Speed Gaming today. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> uh, Team Team Orange Cats uh, demonstrated some impressive, uh, very impressive execution just a couple of days ago. Uh, Team No Gain All Pain, uh, Xena Wars and Avena, Team Orange Cats, uh, Sluglin and Reishai. Uh, folks, buckle up because we have got some insane Prime 1, especially uh, RAs today. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us all about it? I'd be happy to. So for Prime 1, we're allowing infinite speed. Furthermore, item models are hidden. The scans and names will not help them. So, um, so Prime 1 is basically flying blind, this seed, if you will. Uh, whereas with Prime 2, the amber and violet gates are basically being swapped. I think it's mostly just a cosmetic change if when it boils down. But... Um, yeah. It's mostly going to be like they swapped the purple gates and amber gates, so it's effectively going to be uh, a amber hints uh, instead of violet hints. Yes, that's the main thing that changes. Uh, that being said, we should be getting started in just a minute. Uh, we did let the uh, folks at um, in the race room know we're good. All right, let the games begin, folks. Good luck to our racers. Oh, looks like we've got folks a little swapped around here, but that's okay. Names are in the correct place, don't worry. Uh, we start off with an Aegon key in the, uh, or not an Aegon key, a Red Temple key in the main energy controller today. And it belongs to Inghive, lol. <laughs> Lovely. All right, so unfortunately, nothing our runners are going to be uh, going to work on. Uh, so we got an unknown item acquired. So you saw that Prime 1, it said unknown item. But if you look at the auto tracker, super missiles just lit up. So that unknown item was supers. Um, so yeah, again, they don't know what these items are until... Um, until um, they pick them up and check the auto tracker. So this is going to be quite interesting on the Prime side, I think. Yeah, indeed. Especially when um, most of these items don't really tend to have a lot of the uh, of cosmetic changes on the heads-up display. Uh, so you will try to use it and uh, realize, hey, I have this item, or hey, I don't have this item, unless you look at the auto tracker. All right, the unknown I am in Artifact Temple. Uh, let's see. I don't note anything right away. Um, hmm. All right, we're getting our Artifact Hints early while the folks in Echoes are still going through their Dark Alpha Splinter fight. Ray Shy with a tiny bit of a lead over Xeno Wars at the moment. We'll see if we get immediate hints here. Nope, looks like both our runners are planning to um, read the hints during downtime, which is um, a really good idea. Yeah, with missiles and with supers already in tow, you can immediately full, practically full clear main plaza. I see an Echo's ball upgrade of some kind in transport B access. Uh, whereas Alpha Splinter just has some extra prime missiles. Oh, chat's saying that the Artifact Temple item was an Echoes missile expansion, because, yeah, now everybody in Echoes is packing 10 missiles. Makes sense. Right, so the, f the first time we're seeing the uh, RAs take effect, this uh, gate supposedly being violet in the 
and the original preset is now uh, an amber gate. Yeah, this actually kind of does give you a few more hints to work with early game, because starting out, you're only given two, uh, which is the energy controller and the Aegon elevator. Uh, whereas with the Amber Translator immediately available to you, you're given the hints in Mining Plaza, Portal Terminal, uh, Aegon Energy Controller, and Mining Station A. It looks like we've gotten a Cobalt Translator rather early in the uh, Temple Assembly site. Indeed. Looks like the unknown item in uh, Transport Tunnel B is an energy tank. And might as well not even bother trying to guess what's in Main Plaza at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, with Space Jump in tow, Ray's going to immediately pick up this item in Transport B access, which is, uh, can't tell if it's spider or boost related. Uh, it looks like, uh, one more good look. Uh, that might be Spider Ball. It is Spider Ball. All right. Item in Main Plaza. We appear to have a space jump. Unless that was in the elevator to Aegon, which it doesn't look like it. Well, it might have actually been. Well, it is lit up on the on a Venus auto tracker, and ooh, we might have just gotten power bombs on the Venus side too. It looks like it. Either an expansion or mains. Another item in main plaza. Not seeing anything flash on um, Zeno's screen. And it looks like not really sure what it was. Could end up power bomb. Maybe. Okay, so we're getting the uh, accursed lake hint. I didn't get to read. <laughs> Oh, unfortunately, uh, I unfortunately missed it as well, but Xeno will give us another look in a moment. Um, no, I don't think uh, unknown item models uh, were is a is a novelty from uh, seven point one. I think it's been around for quite a while now. Yeah, uh, unknown um, item pickups have been around for a very long time. I want to say a little over a year, if not longer. Yeah. yeah, but it's not a it's not a setting you commonly see using. Uh, in races, let alone casual plays. So, yeah, it's. I think it's hidden uh, pretty far into the menus of Randovania, but the option's still there, and it All can right. be rather fun. So, a cursed lake is dead because it contains a Prime One missile-related upgrade, which can't be anything. We have a hint in Mining Plaza, and this one reads that Grapple is an Aegon Temple. Uh, that a Grapple was it a or the? One moment, please. I also couldn't see what was in Mining Plaza, even though Rayshai took a good look. The Grapple Beam. So there's only one Grapple Beam in Echoes. Yeah. It looks like the PB expansion going to the Prime players here. Uh, we got a Sunburst in Ruined Gallery. Sunburst is actually pretty... It has its uses. Um... Zeno's getting a much better look at Mining Plaza. Let me check on the Twitch playback. It's a lot better quality. <laughs> yeah, can't blame you. Uh, um, bombs in Calm Area. <laughs> yep. Uh, just the one. So also only one set of Morph Ball bombs in Echoes. Ooh, but Portal Access A containing a free Varia suit today. Um, things are looking pretty good for Prime. Just get some bombs and they're going to be in business. Yeah, indeed. Uh, even then, they can go to Magmor from uh, Talon Overworld and um, start looking there, despite right. not having bombs proper. All right, now we're swapping runners around a bit here so we can get Prime back up top. Uh, so bear with, folks. This will take a couple of minutes. Xeno discovering the hint about bombs, which uh, they can... Uh, can they currently get right now? No, because no power bombs. Actually, no, Ray's got a power bomb from something. So it looks like he's going right back for it right now. 
We're just syncing up Slug, so Slug's going to be frozen for about 13 seconds. Don't worry. We're seeing Xeno make a detour to the uh, portal terminal hint here. It's definitely a good idea, in my opinion, to rush hints before um, too long goes by. Yeah, the the more the earlier you check your hints, the more likely they will be to be useful. Because the longer you wait, the more likely you will be to um, have set progression being hinted by the hint. So this is why you want to rush hints as early as possible, if possible. Indeed, I actually did lose a uh, race in um, the Echoes tournament earlier this year because um, in, bra in not brackets, but um, in... Uh, early stages due to not knowing about a hint that was in Portal Terminal. That would have pointed me to my go mode spider ball. Yeah, those, um, those hints can be really helpful uh, as they can also be completely useless sometimes. <laughs> Let alone joke hints, you can also get hinted for something that you already have. Or, for instance, have a Violet Translator hint on a Violet hint. Alright, so we're getting everybody back here, and so we're seeing Xeno go straight into labs. Uh, to, uh, Aegon labs, I should stress. Um, while Ray is going for the GFMC play, courtesy of those power bombs. Unfortunately, no duplication, as this is an item from another game. Indeed. It looks like we're going to see Avina and Slug both go for the checks in Fiery Shores, courtesy of that early Varia suit. And with bombs in tow, there is a lot they can do. They can go pretty much all the way to Courtyard and Fendrana. Um, I do see, however, that a Wave Beam has <laughs> just been picked up by Slug. Not quite sure where that came from. And Avina has it too, by the looks of it. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that. However, they did seem to get Morph Ball in uh, Fiery Shores. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even notice they had no more. They have had no Morph Ball before this point. Uh, with uh, with a Power Bomb in tow, they'll be able to check Short Tunnel. Yeah, that will complete this um, this early Magmore uh, circle quite well. All around Monitor Station. Yep. Even bombs for, um, even picking up bombs, um, is really nice. Just an easy pass through Lava Lake. We see that the Battleground in cache is a Echoes missile related item. That could be Seeker missiles. Transport Tunnel A, item picked up by Sluglin, appears to be unlimited beam ammo. Interesting. We do not have any beams yet, so the effects cannot be observed. Uh, however, this will come in very handy if, uh, for instance, the Echoes players stumble upon an Annihilator beam. That would be hilarious if Annihilator ends up being our first beam here. Alright, we got an unknown item as well in um, Warrior Shrine. Uh, and I see no major changes at the moment, except an extra energy tank and some missiles. Although it looks like uh, that might have been beforehand. So it must have been mostly missiles. But with Ray having completed the GFMC loop, he will now go ahead and turn around and go back to um, the temple and uh, proceed along. Now, unfortunately, not a whole lot we can do from the temple side without Violet or Emerald Translator. And uh, also, just a quick update that Xeno just got Seeker Launcher from uh, somewhere in Magmore. I do see that. Ray has it as well. Ooh, looks like Xeno had oh. an issue getting that charge shot out. Unfortunate. Well, that's all right. You can still get the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, unknown item in um, Triclops Pit is Dark Ammo. And we're seeing Slug go for the Fendrana play. Interesting. Well, with Wave Beam in the hand, it's, um, it's not that bad of an idea. 
Indeed, even without Boost Ball, uh, out of logic, you could go all the way to Research Core. It's also great for yeah. Chapel of the Elders. Yeah, no need to uh, lockpick. We're now going to see the Dark Missile Trooper loop from Reishai here. Two items, perfectly easy to pick up. Unfortunately, still no power bombs or bombs for um, for Zeno. I don't know where the power bomb Reishai picked up ha uh, came from. On the flip side, though, Ray is valid. We've got validation. Nice. All right. Looks like another energy tank in Courtyard. Now, I didn't see what was in Ice Ruins East, unfortunately, and I don't think Slug uh, got a good look at Ice Ruins West. I don't think that would be very impactful, given all the item models are s hidden. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this is all the magic of this uh, of these RAs. Yeah, and I it definitely. Looks, it looks like these. Yeah, oh yeah, I. I I fell for my own trap. I was about to say that it looks like. Um, Fen Canyon was important, but it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get used to it eventually. Although Canyon was, uh, we do know that it was an Aegon key. Oh, interesting. Are we going to see? Uh, are we going to see worms today? What do you think? I, I don't know. Both of my practice seed had seeds had required worms. One for a light suit, and the other for a dark beam. I'm sorry. Eh, it's just a typical day at the office at Ranovania for me. There's a let me put it to you this way. There's a reason why there's a reason why at number one, Arrow Razor and I are the best seed rollers. Number one, number two, that uh <laughs> number two that by under no circumstances will the TOs ever let me anywhere near the seed generator. <laughs> <laughs> I I can um, see that. <laughs> we see a beam related upgrade in um Defiled Shrine for Echoes. Now, that could be Super Missiles or it could be a Dark Slash Annihilator Beam, depending on how that plays out. With the early Seekers, uh, Xeno's going to get a quick peek of Hall of Honor dead. Can't get this without Boost Ball, but nevertheless, it's a nice little peek. And it is a Chozo artifact. Oof, Boost Ball required whether you like it or not. And on the meantime, Reishai showing a fantastic quick kill on Bomb Guardian. Yep, sends the only grapple beam in the Echo Seed over to Prime. That does make things a little bit easier, especially in places like Mines. Yeah, while while grapple beam can be skipped in all of use cases, it's a nice comfort item to have, uh, a really nice backup, and can even make movement in a few rooms like uh, ore processing a little faster. Indeed. Um, so it looks like we're going to see a little bit of retracing here, so not many new items for a minute, although it does give us a chance to catch up on anything we may have missed. Uh, to answer your question, chat, Out of Bounds is enabled by default. Um, what is not, um, what is not allowed is normally, uh, it is in this case because, uh, runners agreed to it, but, uh, infinite speed is not normally around, uh, allowed, excuse me. Um, I don't know how low delays are handled. I think that's RA only as well, but I haven't seen any requests for it yet. Yeah, I think low delays are by default against the rules, unless uh, it has been arrayed. Oh, yeah, uh, but just to clear things up, um, multi-room wall crawling is uh, never accounted for in logic. Uh, only the single room out of bounds are. And even even if IS is allowed, I don't think it is uh, it is in the logic for Metroid Prime for this preset. I don't believe it's accounted for. Yeah, logic wise, we're still running normal tournament logic. So a few be a handful of beginner tricks. Otherwise, no tricks.
I believe this is our first look at friggin' crash site here from Avena. And it is an Echo's item, and that would be an Ing Hive Key. So now we've got two Ing Hive Keys, by the way. That's not incriminating at all. Hmm. Definitely not foreboding. All right, looks like Rayshai was not interested in the missile tank in Command Center. So he's busting out of that while Sluglin is making her way back to Chozo. So yeah, with no Violet Translator, unfortunately, there's a lot we can't do at the moment. With with no translators in general, Cobalt, unfortunately, by itself doesn't really help us. Uh, we don't have Sank access, at least not... Yeah, no, we just flat out don't have Sank access. Yeah, no. Uh, we beam see... related. Yeah, beam related upgrade in, uh, in Ang Reliquary. That could be super missiles. Uh, it, just like um, Defiled Shrine, it could be supers or um, supers or um, Annihilator slash Dark, whichever comes second. I am in Vault is an Echo's item, which is missile tank. So for uh, KRR Twitch, uh, well, we have some uh, interesting RAs, which uh, means that we have um, the prime players have their uh, items, uh, models scanned and names hidden. So there's rarely any way to know uh, which item is being picked up before you pick it up. Besides yeah. that, for the race, um, Things have been going rather smoothly so far, besides the uh, early two Ing Hive keys. Ah, so, uh, that's where main power bombs were. They were in Upper Rune Shrine. Interesting. Right, I see nothing else picked up from, uh, nothing else significant picked up from uh, Lower Rune Shrine, but we're gonna see Avina go for Tower of Light. Uh, while Sluglin goes for Gallery Tunnel, which receipt which uh, sends over another uh, our first rather Torvis key of the afternoon. Are we afraid of the uh, Temple Guardians? No, not at all. In fact, on this channel, we welcome them. <laughs> well, we are not the ones running. Exactly. That being said, I'm going to be dreading them when it comes to my run in four hours, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope uh, Karma does not um, make you pay for that. <laughs> eh, I've already had to fight Amorbus twice today. I, I think I'm okay. Uh, Tower of Light <laughs> containing nothing special. Uh, looks like it was a powerbomb tank under the ship. And what was in... I don't know what was in Wind Chamber Gate... But Xeno uh, did not appear to be interested. I think it was an ammo expansion. Yep. All right. We've got another. Uh, ooh, in Echo's uh, tower chamber provides a progressive suit. Yeah. And given... being Hive Key 1 received. What, did uh, we already get this one? Or... Yes, that was the frigate crash site in right. Hive Key. Yes. My bad. No, you're good. Uh, so, this is a very interesting scenario for Echoes, because we have no Dark World access, we've got no beams in general, uh, whereas on the Prime side, they're still able to keep themselves quite busy, courtesy of the Wave Beam. Yeah, for, for, the, for the Prime games, the, the only things really hard-locking the, uh, the racers here are the beams, and Wave Beam is a very significant portion of those hardlocks. Yeah, basically, if you get Wave and Ice Beam early, the whole game is practically open. But if you get, like, Plasma and Ice first, that's actually probably the best-case scenario if you're the runner, because then you, most of your game is locked out. 
Yes, for uh, for those like early plasma plays, that tends to suggest um, early fen a lot of the time, and for these uh, for these ice beam plays, that could be far chozo too. You never know. But it's still a lot less broad than just early wave beam. Indeed. Now I see that our runners have each acquired a single uh, prime runners have each acquired a single chozo artifact. And what was that? That oh, that was the gallery tunnel, um, Torvis Key. That's right. Meanwhile, Sluglin is going for Arbor Chamber, which is an unknown item. I didn't see anything light up on the tracker. Uh, it was a missile tank. I see the missile count change. Oh right. Uh, Avina, let's see where this play will take them. Um... All right, Raisha is going to actually give us the uh, um, portal terminal hint that, unfortunately, we were not able to see earlier from Xeno Wars. Uh, unfortunately, going to have to defeat the Dark Pirates first. Nothing a power bomb shouldn't be able to solve. Well, that was perfectly symmetrical from the pirates. <laughs> Indeed. You love to see it. Uh, this hint reads a morph. Oh, it's the Ooh, yeah, uh, it's, it's the, the spider boost ball, ball hint. Up. Yeah, not boost spider ball. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Rage is trying to go for a mm. fu fancy little uh, extended uh, scan space jump dash there to try and get the um, switch hit early. Didn't quite work out. Also, I don't think hit the bomb slot. I mean, lol, exactly, Ray, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no bombs make this kind of difficult. Right. Oh, yeah, Echoes is still going without bombs, and we know it's not in their seats, so they they actually have to hold tight for a while. I think this is BK. That might be some, uh, yeah, some rather long downtime if the Prime players can't find the bomb soon, and given the item models are oh. uh, hidden, well... You ne I just had to say that. <laughs> yeah, Slugland found it in Training Chamber. Uh, not Training Chamber, excuse me, uh, Gathering Hall. And on top of that, it's just been given a Dark Visor from Watery Hall access by the looks of it. This Chozo is stacked. As it tends to be. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> and you know what's even funny? We can't even peek the Ruin Fountain item, so we don't even know if Flogger's required yet. We don't even know where our... Uh... Now, here's... Actually, that's a very good question that... Uh, just came to my mind. Do the artifact hints not point you anywhere either? Or will they, at least the artifact hints tell you where to go? I believe those are separate settings. I see. But yeah, I think it's um, it's under the artifact hints objectives, and then there's the uh, item models. But the artifacts themselves will have their models uh, hidden, I believe. I see. All right, so I don't see anything of major note found in training chamber access, uh, but we do see a grapple beam, an Echo's grapple beam found in Watery Hall Upper. And with no spider ball in tow, unfortunately, Sluglin will not be able to check Upper Dynamo. So we'll have to come back to this one later. And with models hidden, that's going to be a fun time. Yeah, indeed. Well. Oh, oh, another Torvis key. Hmm. It's getting rather tight on keys. I don't like this. Yeah, because at this point, Ray now has two Hive keys, two Torvis keys, and a and a Worm key. Uh, Avina just almost died. And meanwhile, Reishai is um, letting all their anger out at this random statue. I do not know why. They feel the need to pass their nerves on this poor, innocent warrior, Luminoth. Yeah, I mean, it's made of Nintendium. You can't break it. I don't see what you're trying to do. Oh, there's a boss there, and it's now dead. That's why. Ah, uh, yeah. The, that invisibility cloak was really tricky.
Okay. Now, now whoa. Okay, what? airborne kill. <laughs> nice. Never seen that happen before. All right, so a prime power bomb on Jump Guardian. I don't recall if we've seen this already. We're gonna see a flog replay from Avena. That is a nice Notroid mm. model right there. <laughs> a fiery Notroid for a fiery boss. Awesome. And it contained only a missile tank. But at least it looked good. Yes, it did. Yeah, that's a weird property with Jump Guardian and Boost Guardian also follows the same logic where you do need to actually, after zero HP, give them one tiny little pellet to knock them out for good. All right, so Ooh. go on. Yeah, Spider Ball in Broom Closet. That's that's interesting, and that will allow Sluglin to um, go back to those previous rooms and... Um, and clean up early. Not gonna have to bother going back, which is rather nice to have. It's also a big plus for Upper Furnace because now you don't have to do the entire standable climb. Let alone the uh, precise bomb jump at the end. Yeah, Zeno unfortunately is gonna be staying put until Avina can get to Gathering Hall. Avina playing it safe with the Flogger. Uh, having having this little health, um, Flogger does a deceptively high amount of damage. So I definitely do not blame them for uh, for taking things slow and not risking a death. Um, I don't think Flogger was anything particularly special. Uh, I, didn't I don't see, see anything either. I don't see an artifact count change either. They're both running two artifacts now, so I'm very surprised we haven't seen artifacts yet. Granted, in the in the prime player's case, they really don't have time to slow down because um, unfortunately with Echoes still being kind of in a weird BK scenario, um, especially in Avina's case. So we're gonna see an early wild though, which uh, this is actually in play. Uh, we know where super missiles and spider ball are. Um, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately for, uh, unfortunately for no gain all pain, they do still need to go back for those bombs first. All right, I didn't see what was, uh, lower furnace rather, thank you, Twitch playback, was a dark ammo tank. Oh, unfortunately, um, Avina couldn't manage the early wild, but that's all right. We, uh, we know they will have access to, uh, spider ball eventually. Indeed. Yeah, Zeno just needs to get to the broom closet. All yeah, right. so what I think, um, what I think uh, Avina did wrong here is uh, they went a little too high, and so they got an instant on morph and couldn't exactly get the momentum necessary in order to um, go back onto the ledge. I think I... this is what went wrong. That sounds fair. Uh, so, in the meantime, Slug continuing through. Didn't see anything major change-wise in Upper Furnace. Uh, but we're going to see a crossway check here. Unfortunately, without Dark Beam, Ray's got to go through Labs the hard way here and drop the Blast Door. Now, this is an... Ooh, this is an interesting method for... Um for checking crossway that Slugling just displayed. Indeed, you... unfortunately it was only for a missile. But knowledge in itself is its own reward for us. Oh yes. So like usually what I would do for checking crossway is uh, going on, is jumping on two of the pegs uh, next to the uh, on the opposite wall from uh, where uh, Slugling climbed, and then kind of tried to brute force my way into the Morph Ball tunnel while unmorphed, and then morph uh, and and get the item. Uh, what she did was she went on the very close to the ceiling of this room on the little bars, 
that used to be the ceiling of the Chozo ruins and um, kind of just drop down in Morph Ball just close enough to get the item check. All right, and Zeno has just received bombs. And also appears to be in uh, labs, so Zeno will be able to progress along the same path that Reisha is currently endeavoring to uh, complete as well. Unfortunately for Echoes, they're still both running beamless at this point, and uh, <laughs> anti-chamber, this is going to be a nightmare, but Slug is going for the powerbomb strat. And it works out for... Just a dark tank. Now, the fact that Echoes has gotten grapple before screw attack is definitely a bit on the concerning side, because that could potentially uh, hint at a buried screw attack. I did actually have a screw attack in Path of Roots earlier today. Mm, screw attack in Path of Roots. That's... Um... That's odd. <laughs> yeah, I will and no, just say that. And no gravity either, so I couldn't like do any tricky BSJs or anything to make it work either. Yeah. I do remember one time I had my screw attack on O'Lear, which was a fun time. Oh, that's that's a pretty nasty. I'll tell you what the most insulting screw attack is. Screw attack in Torvis Lagoon. Because the one oh, thing you need to do yeah. air underwater to cheese the item is <laughs> literally the item on Torvis Lagoon that you need to cheese Torvis Lagoon. <laughs> yep, that's putting uh, that's putting a forced gravity boost on the menu. And to answer question, chat screw it up. Grapples are not progressive in these settings. Screw attack is a separate item. So on the Echo side right now, uh, Ray uh, and Zeno at best, they can finish this. Uh, you can see Ray doing the uh, BSJ standable for sand processing without boost. Uh, no screw attack to be able to skip uh, to easily get out of uh, main reactor after Dark Samus, but can still do it with uh, well-placed BSJ. Yeah, and Baha Blood is asking in chat if it is possible to ceiling warp on top of the Lagoon item. I have no idea if that's possible. Do you, do you happen to know? I do not. Uh, I'm not familiar with most mm. of the Torvus out of bounds. The only Torvus out of bounds I'm the most familiar with is what I like to call Cash B Chasm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. it's uh, For those not in the know, that's basically going out of bounds at the dark Torvus uh, elevator to lower Torvus because it does still exist. So you just use that to go to lower Torvus without busting out and going down the elevator normally. Oh, whoops, my bad. I seem to have misread Baha's message. <laughs> so it is possible. Um, yeah, maybe if you secret world from um, from portal site, that might be a possibility. Ew, X-ray and storage D. Can't get it. Oh. Oh, no. Now, granted, that's not going to come into play right this minute because I don't think uh, Arbor Chamber and the Root Cave led to anything major. And for that matter, on the Prime side, they've been kind of stagnant in progression for the last handful of minutes. Pretty much after, uh, pretty much after getting um, Echo's bombs, things have kind of slowed down. And as far as Prime items, they've gotten virtually nothing for the last 20 minutes, almost. At least that's how long it feels. Yeah. Mm. Well, maybe we'll we will see the we we will see Slugling going for the um, for the flogger skip in Ruin Fountain, going for the dash method. All right. Meanwhile, Vina is uh, is making their way to uh, Farfen. All right, so it also looks like Avina's found a couple of extra Chozo artifacts by comparison to uh, Slugland, so I'm not quite sure where those were, unless they were in Fendrana somewhere. And Reishai just got a scary hint. Uh, Dark Oasis contains a key. A key? Interesting.
I think we actually, uh, yeah, and again, you, and we saw, we saw that Ray clearly had no issues getting out of, uh, out of main reactor despite that, uh, hiccup. Um, let's see, this is the magma pool checks from Slug, which we've already seen. And unfortunately, we can't exactly peak training chamber, you know? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Xeno Wars went for it, uh, get, got their, um, got the x visor in storage D and re ops to reset out. Interesting. That's, that's actually not a bad play, because if you've just saved in sand processing, you've already, you've, that's, you've not... Words, hang on. Since you haven't probably, lost anything. Exactly. You've only picked up that one item, so that's an easy that's definitely an easy uh reset. Yeah, not really not a big time loss. That can evolve into a time gain, as you do not have to reroute there. Indeed. Um for all we know, we might have because I see this a lot in races, we may have just a required OP. That that would be fun. The, our racers got um, got super missiles really early, so they will have the occasion to show off uh, some neat one cycle tricks. Yeah, that opens up also. Uh, so, what are our runners in Prime able to do? They can go to the labs. They can do Hydra. They can do observe. They can't do observatory in Logic. I mean, they can go all the way through in lo out of Logic just fine. Uh, mm -hmm. uh well. Assuming they've done all the wave beam checks in the uh, Chozo already as well. Which probably not, because Sluglin is right now going to uh, Tower of Light. I believe that is her last check in Chozo, because I'm pretty sure she's cleared everything else by now. But yeah, Echoes, in a, it's a very rare scenario here where Echoes is actually in a pretty extended BK mode here. Yes, so to come back on the possibilities of our prime players, I think I think Labs is their... Th they could do some uh, some parts of Far Magmore too, although it's not very rich. It's not very dense with checks. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, Violet Translator on the GFMC ship. Where has that been for the last 20 minutes? Well, that now, will be a lot more hints for that was the Echoes players. Yeah, that was locked by bombs, by the way. Reishai showing off some uh, some awesome movements. You you would almost think that you're playing you're having the prime movement system in Echoes. Indeed, like I I may have said this in the last race uh, I calmed with uh, Team Orange Cats, but Ray kind of scares me a little. <laughs> I'm starting to feel you. This is rather intimidating. Now, that all being said, uh, with Violet, we do get uh, several hints. We'll see how Rayshide chooses to progress about this. Because, uh, yeah, going back for... Because, yeah, where were bombs again? Uh, Prime picked them up. Oh, and Avina fell they down. Were, I believe they were in Gathering Hall, if memory serves right. Uh, yeah, so that, was, that wasn't actually that deep in Chozo, all things considering. Because Echoes did, uh, not Echoes, Prime got Space Jump and Bombs and Morph Ball very early. Yeah. So yeah, that's that Violet Translator has been in play for a handful of minutes. That also gives us Sand Cash. As that's currently a Violet Lock now. Ooh, right, yeah. So, yeah, they've got some, uh, some intelligence works to do on the Echo side. Wait, right, the hint? Oh, wow. Uh, they'll come back eventually, probably. <laughs> I hope so. And I think Ray just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, in summary, what happened uh, so far? Our Prime players got Super Missiles very early, uh, got their, uh, got their artifact hints that I don't think either of them has, um, has consulted yet. You know, back in my day, we didn't even need hints. Yeah, right. <laughs> and also, I've heard of this uh, Ravenbeak guy. I uh, heard he was kind of shredded. Don't you agree, Samus? <laughs> Is that what the other hand actually was? No, I think I think it was uh, about 
Raven Beak being a funny person. I yeah, can't remember off the top I, I of my know, head. I know that is the new. Uh, I know that is the new um, one of the new joke hints that was added in version seven. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, Raven Beak. I don't know him, but he looks. He sounds handsome. Don't you agree, Samus? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you are faced with overwhelming randomness, except your helplessness. <laughs> yes, this. OK, yes, I, I completely agree. <laughs> Although I think um, uh, before we go into that, let's see what Sandcash is. Uh, <laughs> the third worm key. <laughs> I love where this is going. All this for a worm fight. Pretty much unavoidable yes. worm fight at this point, I might add. This is pretty much all they have left to do, so may as well not uh, not go around the bush and uh, go ahead and do it. <laughs> but yeah, this this is definitely turning into a uh, this is definitely turning into a comedy seed. That's for sure. Like we've we've definitely seen some funny stuff. Um, with Echoes being in BK as long as they have, but um, now after all that, they still have to go fight a Morbus. Although that being said, it's not necessarily the only thing that it could be because there could just be a missile tank or something, and the progression could just be in labs. Which what progression would be the seed opener at this point? Boost Ball would give them some work to do in Torvis, and I mean literally nothing to do in Torvis because you know supers are Emerald Translator, so I take that back. That being said, there's nothing stopping you from BSJing up the elevator and just getting to Tor top of Torvis Temple that way. <laughs> Although, good luck getting out without Dark Beam. Yeah, I think pretty much any beam for the Echoes players would be a, would be a big seat opener yeah. at this point. Light Beam, yeah, because Light Beam would at least let you go into Sanctuary, uh, albeit not with a whole lot to do. Um, Dark is probably the most important one, and Annihilator's just terrible. Yeah, Annihilator is just for the portals, and it ooh, Xeno Wars just found uh, just found power bombs. All right, for so, Prime. Oh, very nice. So those are only locked by bombs, and the hint revealed that the Aegon keys were in Aegon and Fendrana, which we knew that because we found them already. Also, am I dreaming, or was Dark Beam on ghosts? Uh, yep, it was. It was <laughs> totally on ghosts. Well. This is, uh, this is funny. Ew! Oh, that's locked by Spider-Ball! Oh, where was that? Spider-Ball? For, uh, oh, for Prime 1. That was in Broom Closet. Oh, no, yeah, xeno has gotta go back to Broom Closet. Uh, yeah, that's... Bombs in Broom Closet have been, uh, unfortunately plaguing no gain all pain this seed. Yep. Um... Broom... Reishai is trying for, oh, and getting the worm skip without boost ball. Nice. Yeah, Seeker missiles especially is probably the best weapon for boostless worm skip because Seekers will retain their lock after firing no matter what. So uh, it's really convenient to just fire the missiles, scan dash sideways into the first worm, and uh, squeeze out the uh, first bomb in due course. Yeah, you're raising a good point. I never thought of that. Yeah, supers, you can make it work. Light beam is also workable, but very, very tight. Yeah, which is why boost ball is preferable to have for uh, worm skip if you're using supers or light beam. So, yeah, unfortunately, it might, Ray might actually be about to get baited here. This, this will, I'm, I'm actually going to giggle a little bit if this ends up being nothing. At the same time, if this ends up being uh, Annihilator Beam or something, I am also going to giggle. That would give them uh, Light World access from Dark World. So, yeah, it's going to be really good. It allows for a lot of dangerous plays uh, that would be dangerous otherwise. Oh, that's a translator. Emerald Translator. Oh, that's just, that is, ew. I like this seed. <laughs> uh, the commentator's seed. The only place where you can say ew and I like this seed in the same sentence. <laughs> 
This this is a seed worthy of my own my own making. Who rolled this? Uh, now hold it. We haven't seen underground tunnel yet. There might be progression, there might not be. All right, so Zeno is making the Dark Aegon loop. Now, unfortunately, because of the way Zeno routed this, it's going to be a very long time before they can get back to GFMC to get Violet and then go back to Sandcash for the translator uh, for with Violet for the third key. Now... Emerald is a weird case. Uh, the only thing Emerald hard, hard locks is Sank Entrance. Because uh, for the back of Torvis, you can get around it with a very well done BSJ. And I mean a very well done BSJ, because it is, in, at least from my experience, a pretty hard one uh, for Forgotten Bridge Skip. Uh, but that's about it. I mean... I think even without uh, super missiles, they can get to uh, Torvis from Aegon. Get uh, uh, lower the gate from uh, to access um, underground tunnel. Uh, yes, but they have to do a screw slope jump screw attack bonk in this case. Mm. Because no boost ball for the um, the elevator. Oh right, yes, and. Uh, Xenowars finally found uh, finally found Spider Ball for um, for Avina, so they will get moving shortly. If yeah, the only problem now is that ghosts are very very out of the way for Avina. <laughs> yeah, Avina right now is in Magmore. Um, so and it will depend on uh, what they will decide to do, uh, how they will go back to uh, to Chozo. They. Probably won't decide to uh, to do f ghosts first, as uh -oh. there's still a Rune Fountain and uh, Upper Dynamo. Uh, let me stop you for a second. Ray, Ray had to reset. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, uh, oh, I sounds like Ray crashed. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Uh, the in-game time suggests it's not the worst time loss in the world, but I think that means, yeah, Ray's got to fight a Morbus again. Uh, does seem oh, to have no. all three keys. So this was after Violet Translator. This was after Sandcash. Oh, no, no. I take that back. It's two. Oh, no, no, no. This is before Violet Translator. Oh, that's a bad crash. That's Ray's lost a lot of progress here. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It might have been a I don't know if it was a dolphin crash or a what. I don't know if uh, what Ray plays on, to be fair. It was in dueling, dueling range. Dueling range, yeah, that's... That's odd. I, yeah. I haven't seen many crashes in that room. I mean... Yeah, that's that's yeah. the... that's the It's Dark Mining Plaza. Yeah, that's, that's a weird crash. It might have just been Dolphin going out, because that can happen. Now, yeah, that I being said, at the very least, Ray gets Dark Beam awarded back because it wasn't, um, wasn't in his seed. Yeah, thankfully. But uh, yeah, having to fight a Morbus again for Emerald Translator, which is, which arguably is the most important translator, I would say. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty one. Uh, but Quarantine Monitor having Echo's boost ball, so at least Ray has a little bit of speed getting back on pace here. Yeah, this should definitely help them uh, make up for lost time. Noah Sluglin is going to fight Thardis. Uh, she's got she's got a few power bombs uh, up her sleeve, so that should shorten the fight quite a bit. Yeah, and I I definitely know how those random crashes feel. In the Echoes tournament, I did crash in go mode in um, in a race, so it it wouldn't have cost me the race given the in, given hindsight and where I was in the at the time, but. Um, it was very unfortunate, nonetheless, and a little bit frustrating, not gonna lie. <laughs> it was a oh, random crash, yeah. too. It was going from Sang Temple access to Sang Temple, which I think that was just Dolphin just dying on me is what happened. Yeah, probably. I've had that happen to me, too, when I was in a, in a casual race against Sam. I was, in, I was in good pace, actually, but I somehow crashed on my way to, um, to Crossway, of all things. I think it was also my dolphin that gave out on me. I see. 
But, All right. yeah, thankfully, I saved beforehand. Indeed. All right, we're getting Mining Station B information here. A hint reads that there's a translator <laughs> in Dark Aegon Temple. Boy, wouldn't have that been nice to know about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Just Thanks, nothing game. Like, nothing like rubbing the salt in the wounds, huh? All right, now, Ray, unfortunately, can't really do anything else. The item in Mining Station B was pretty junk, but um, the... Um, uh, the item in storage A is unavailable without light beam. Yeah, all this time, an hour in, and we're still only running one beam, which is, as much as one beam is good for Echoes, given what we have seen, there's still not a lot we can do with that at this point. We can, well, that's a small lie. We can now go deeper into Torvis. Now that we have, uh, actually, no, we can't. We still, oh, actually, no, the Emerald Translator would have been hmm. the key. Yeah. Uh, or would it? No. Uh, no. Uh, you need light beam still. Yeah, light beam for the for the peg in uh, Great Temple. Light beam for the peg, and also light beam to get past underground tunnel. Yeah. Right. Well, underground tunnel itself is a check and a hint. So. That's true. It's a good check and a hint um, as well. So, and with boost in tow, that is in logic. Um, unfortunately, yeah. it is now behind that Emerald Translator. <laughs> oh, man, I, I actually fate. feel really, I do really feel, feel bad for Ray on that one, because it just, it was a very costly crash there. Yeah, unfortunate, but you can't always uh, make for the um, technical mishaps. I'm curious as to what Zeno is attempting here. Is Zeno attempting to use the lowered gate in order to get to Torvis? Uh, for Transport Center? Uh, I think so. I think Zeno is trying to jump on top of the uh, of the gate in order to access the Torvis elevator. So I, I wager, given that the trouble Zeno's having, you have to get a precise slope jump off of the bomb slot, which, that's uh, a weird one. When I do it, I usually do it off of the half pipe. And just get, like that, yeah. well done. I have got to, I'm going to have to, uh, that's going to have to go in my notes. Thanks, Zeno. <laughs> okay, so mental note, it is not that hard to get into Torvis without boost or screw attack. Without Seekers, on the other hand, yeah, you're pretty much screwed. Well, you're going to have to ask for help from Robert. <laughs> yeah. All right, and Sluglin is uh, going for the laps play right now. This is, yeah, this is pretty much all she can do at the moment, because now we're starting to get to the point where Prime, at, despite everything we've seen, is running out of checks. Yeah, well, maybe we'll see some uh, something good on Research Lab Hydra. Uh, uh, maybe nope. not. Looks like it's more missiles. It definitely wasn't a power bomb tank because it was seven uh, after the delivery in Aegon Energy. Where were Echo Supers? Good question. Um, I didn't catch that actually. Cha uh, Chapel. Oh, Lighthouse. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, so behind uh, behind Prime Supers and Spider Ball. So that's a check that Slug has not done yet. Now, granted. Oh, and Slug's not going to be particularly close to that anytime soon. Uh, yep. Hold on, a dead artifact. Interesting. Um, so we're still only at five artifacts known up to this point. Uh, but unfortunately, here's the kicker, though. No Sky Temple keys. <laughs> now, Xena, with the equipment that they have available, can check hints uh, once we finally get a beam, which unfortunately Xeno needs to wait for uh, Avena to send Dark Beam on Ghosts! Mm. Uh, oh, Phazon Suit and Observatory. Oh, nice. It's a good find. And with that, Slug is finally going to check her remaining artifacts. There are four left that we don't know about. Main Quarry... Torvis Energy Controller, Venomous Pond, and Under Temple. Those are actually all pretty free. Mm -hmm. Well, is Under uh, Temple free? Uh, it depends. Yes. 
Oh yeah, might need screw attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just unfortunate that Dark Beam is so out of the way now for a team no gain all pain. Yep, feeling the pain indeed right now. I'm also now just realizing that the item jingle does still play correctly, depending on if it's a major or minor item. All right, I never I never paid attention to that. Good call. What is up with Ray's text there? Did y'all see that? Oh, those are some spicy instant morphs, too. Uh, Beam-related upgrade and poison bog. Echoes-related. Could be lighter annihilator. Could be, Yeah, could be lighter annihilator. Light beam and poison bog would stink, because that's a one-way trip. Yeah. And it's behind light suit. All right, we got a double check coming up in Research Lab Aether. Two items here. Showing a wonderful skip for uh, for this infamous Research Lab Aether Morph Ball puzzle. All right. Uh, Research Lab Aether, our first Sky Temple key of the day. All right. I'm not liking where the rest of these Sky Temple keys are going to be. I have a bad feeling we're looking at a lot of sunken mines here. Mm. Oh, we got an Ice Beam in Great Bridge. Oh, okay. So yes, this is going to allow Vina to go through um, to go through labs in uh, in a single trip and land back in a far in a far fen. So yeah. that runs pretty nicely for them. Indeed. Unfortunately, Slug does not get that luxury, but does find another Sky Temple key in Research Core. So two Sky Temple keys back to back here in labs. <laughs> yeah, indeed, this is not the race for glitched text. As uh, as multi dark Samus is uh, pointing out, this this is true that it could be unhelpful. Yeah, definitely not helpful in this context. Yeah, both sides are uh, are missing some ra rather major uh, items for their progression. Xeno Wars is going for the for the secret world. In uh, in Taurus, near Taurus Temple? Uh, yeah, the only downside is that this is a one-way trip. Well, actually, no, it's not, because with, uh, oh, yeah, no, this is one way, because without Emerald Translator, you can't drop the elevator. Uh, and without Dark Beam, you can't get out of Taurus Temple. Hmm. So this is, unfortunately, yeah, point of no return, as uh, Baja points out here. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think there's still access to a safe station, the safe warp, though, right? Uh, no. The nearest save room at this oh, point right. is all have the way back. Beam. Yeah, no dark yeah. beam, so they can't no get back beam. through Path of Roots. Mm. Uh, to answer a question, chat, Ice Beam was in Great Bridge. Unfortunately, with Ice Beam, that unfortunately gives Avina more stuff to do that isn't ghosts. Yeah. So that's actually a big problem for them. Yeah, that might work against them. We'll see. Ray, in the meantime, uh, let's see what his plan is. Because we still don't... this And exactly what I was afraid was going to happen ha is happening. That screw this screw attack does appear to be very buried right now. Like, we just have not found it. And it looks like Zeno is already resetting. Yeah, I think they realized what happened here and um, decided to bail out. But now Ray's going back for starting the recovery sequence here and going to fight a Morbus for Emerald Translator. He was able to keep himself busy for a little while, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, now has to pretty much bite the bullet and go back. Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully save. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to see another crash. Yeah, we don't want to see another crash. That'd be very unfortunate right now. This would be um, fate. Fate just being against Ray, uh, which uh, yeah, I 
wouldn't even wish that upon my worst enemy. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it's you never want a race to be decided by bugs. <laughs> you yeah, it it just doesn't feel good. It never does. Did you know some safe zones must be shot to function? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, apparently Control Tower had Dark Burst. That's cool. I guess. No, it's not. It's really not. Dark mm. Burst is kind of useless. Well, I mean, they have bombs already, so... Um, yeah, it's not useful. <laughs> exactly. Sunburst actually does have some limited combat effectiveness against certain bosses, like especially Grapple Guardian and Boost Guardian, but... Um, and even Sonic Boom works on Boost Guardian, uh, not Boost, Scrapple Guardian in a way. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah. All right. Even Sonic Boom can be effective against Scrapple Guardian. All right. Dark Ammo Tank in Upper Ice Runes East. Lower Ice Runes East. We're still going to have to wait on that Plasma Beam to pick up. What is nice is that while Zeno is performing all this, it's not that big of a deal uh, that Avina, because Avina is still making checks. So anything that Zeno gets and has to reset away can still be uh, held. Uh, so yeah, is this a play for the point of no return or is this a play to underground tunnel? This is a play to the point of no return. Yeah. But yeah, for some reason, shooting the door triggers the fight, by the way. Sure. Oh, that's good to know. I, I always had trouble when trying out this wall crawl to uh, trigger the fight. Now I will, I will remember that it's just about sh shooting the door somehow. All right, and the lighthouse item is acquired, so now Ray has super missiles. And not a moment too soon. Yep, comes in right on time. You know the the air pirate is being um, very uncooperative on Zeno's side, but fortunately manages to come out on top. Yeah, unfortunately, this last pirate was being a little stubborn there. And I think we've got a boostless worm skip. Uh, no, actually, no, Ray's got boost this time. So, yeah, easy worm skip on his end. Now, Slug's going for Chapel here, so um, I don't remember the item here being useful. But Avina's going to go ahead and grab... Um, this was a major item over here. I just don't remember what it was. I think this was Echo's boost. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. I can't remember either. But yeah, that's going to definitely give Zeno the speed advantage for a little bit. And it'll be returned again once they reset away. Uh, artifact. Oh. oh, yeah, we already knew that. And what's nice is, again, Zeno can just go ahead and reset that away at no consequence. Yeah, actually, yeah, Zeno should just reset here because it'll give them back the boost ball and it'll still keep the artifact send. Meanwhile, Ray is uh, done with the uh, Emerald Translator uh, re uh, reacquisition here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was Ice Spreader in Chapel. Okay. I was like, I why, am I, why am I hearing major <laughs> item music? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is definitely going to be uh, helpful for uh, Exo. For Exo, indeed. Now that being said, so Prime really isn't looking for much at this point. They're just looking for Echoes to get Screw Attack, and then all the rest of their artifacts are free. As for Echoes, I mean, we can't even check hints yet because we. Well, actually, Ray could check hints. It would be one way, but he could check hints. Ray is, uh, Ray seems to be checking the battleground, uh, in cash. Although I think it was hinted as a missile-related upgrade for Prime 1. 
If I uh, if memory serves right. Um, I think so. All right, and Ray is properly taking a safety save here outside of um, Junction's uh, Judgment Pit. Judgment Pit. <laughs> Almost, yeah. almost called a junction site for a second. <laughs> that's the that's an adjacent room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Zeno, on the other hand, finds gravity boost in Path of Roots, locked by Grapple Beam right now. This uh, this, this Grapple Beam this Grapple Beam is pulling some weight. Yeah, it it's almost as if it's pulling some strings of some sorts. Which actually uh, reminds me. Oh, right. Xeno must have used super missiles after resetting um, through the elevator. Sluggling going for the out of bounds play in Ice Runes East. Oh, yes. We've seen her do this before uh, because last time this was screw attack. Oh, right. Yeah. But since those are uh, hidden item models, well, it's there's no way to evaluate the, if this place is worth it. Wouldn't it be hilarious if it was screw attack again anyway? Oh, absolutely. Would be hilarious for us. All right. In the meantime, slugs reset uh, to attempt the ice runes east out of bounds again. I would wager. And yep. with and Bereshai is uh, going to um, go for the Torvis play. Yeah, with his equipment, this is absolutely the best play because we're yeah. still looking oh. for a lot of gear. Oh, oh, oh. There, there is was... always progression in underground, <laughs> in underground tunnel. tunnel. Oh, that's <laughs> basically. Oh, and plasma hint. Nice. Plasma in transit station. So that actually is free right now. Pretty much. Because uh, with gravity known, uh, we can just go ahead and ascend up um, Gathering Hall to grab it. Uh, yep. Not Gathering Hall, Training Chamber. Uh, but we get another multiplayer pickup. That is double damage in Grove. Yep. So that's going to make a lot of the fighting much, much faster. Unfortunately, Zeno is still not um, gone back to GFMC for Violet Translator yet. Doing uh, doing whatever checks they can. The seat seems to be... Um, it's an interesting seat so far because there's a lot of possibilities open, but... Um, it looks like uh, Team Orange Cats is in the is very much in the lead right now, and this seat is seems to be really deceiving. Uh, team No Gain, All Pain, unfortunately. Indeed, and it, it doesn't help that unfortunately the checks that our both runners need to perform are one offs at this stage, because I don't think Zeno has any other reason to go to GFMC, whereas Avina is only going to Ghosts at this point. So yeah. Uh, that being said, I think, uh, what is Ray? Oh, Ray has no missiles, so can't, um, open up the path to Torvis Plaza. Yeah, right. Um, oh, no, what Ray's doing is farming super missiles for lower Torvis. Oh, or I for see. the door, or for the door to get out of the temple, which I think is more likely, because Ray can check hints mm. now. Although I'm yeah. curious as to why Ray doesn't just come, well, actually... It's possible Ray could be in go mode, depending. Well, no, it's a screw attack casino at this point. But, um, oh, it could be a light suit casino, too. We'll have to. We still are missing the vast majority of our Sky Temple keys. Yeah. And not a lot of artifacts on the, on the Prime End, too. But they are already hinted. Yeah, we know where they are, and they are all available to us by now, uh, except for possibly Upper um, Under Temple. Yeah. Upper Under Temple. Try making sense of that one. Hmm. Over Let's... Under Temple. Mm, perhaps. Or maybe Wall Under Temple. 
That doesn't make sense. Actually, over under temple is just under temple access. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried to make sense of that. Didn't mean we succeeded. Indeed. Uh, that being said, we got another emerald hint coming up, which reveals to us that Chica is dead. Nice. Oh, and yeah, graph boost. I forgot about that. Yeah, this lets Ray check the item in Torvis Lagoon as well, which uh, I don't know if we've seen it already, but it looks like it's a missile. All right, so Poison Bog being beam-related, that could still be Annihilator Beam. Unfortunately, it's now Light Suit locked. Yeah, at the moment, not much they can do about it. Now, Xeno's in a good position here to, unfor well, unfortunately, with no without uh, the other keys, uh, it's just not going to work out. Um, I was going to say a good position to route back around towards um, Amorbus after finishing up uh, in labs, but really, still not a way to get that luxury. Unfortunately, I think Avina ran out of super missiles, question mark? Uh, I think so. Their HUD seems to be rather translucent, so I can't really tell. Yeah, I think out of missiles. Yeah, that's the most likely explanation. All right, Ray is now going to be making the Torvis uh, temple checks here. I think these are, yeah, these are going to be the temple checks. And, uh, hmm, yep. Yeah. Slugland is going to uh, check um, Overgrown Cavern, or no? Well, yeah, she's this... destroying the crates preemptively for uh, eventual frigate access. Uh, could be. But yeah, this is going to be a quick pit stop at Overgrown Cavern. Uh, with our current equipment, frigate is currently entirely out of logic. Yeah. Although, mines could be a great treasure trove right now. It so... could be. This might be what Slug is going for at the moment. Yeah, we do also know that um, Overgrown Cavern was another Sky Temple key. Oh, so we're starting, we're starting to oh. find our Sky Temple keys here. Well, the, this, this is going to be a problem. I don't think Slugling has Boost Ball yet, so I think Hydro Axis Tunnel will not be traversable right now. No, it is not traversable with our current equipment. Um, mm -hmm. What is... Where was um, Prime Boost again? I... I don't remember. Did we find it? Uh, we did. Uh, no, we didn't, actually. Yeah, yeah we only so found Echo's boost. Yeah, so, by the way, doing storage C normally always scares me because I always feel like I'm going to fall off those spider tracks when boosting off. Uh, oh, Dark yeah. Torvis keys are irrelevant. Thanks, game. Mm. And an SCK on uh, storage C. Mid-game supers. Okay. <laughs> I know how the the story of last year was there's always progression in underground tunnel. The the one for the last year or so has been mid game supers always has progression in storage C. Oh. That's nasty. All right, and that's the dark beam pickup for Avena. So that's going to really send the message to no gain all pain that it's might be time to panic a little bit. Yeah. Now, that being said, again, we're still we're kind of in a screw attack casino right now because yes, we know so, um, we know where Plasma Beam is, but we still need screw attack to beat the game no matter what. Yeah, so perhaps um, the the ideal scenario for no gain all pain is that Team Orange Cat gets uh, gets a bit lost in that screw attack casino and they can uh, they can capitalize on that time uh, that they spent uh, looking for Dark Beam. The only pro the problem right now is that unfortunately we now know Emerald Translator is also locking major progression, which being that light beam and underground tunnels. So, I it's gonna be real hard to for Xeno Wars to uh, route all that in. Uh, what was that light yes. ammo tank in Hydro Access Tunnel? Biohazard containment we have not seen yet, but it looks like that's not stop and slug at the moment. Mm. The hint here in Gathering Hall reads that the gravity boost can be found in Path of Roots. Thanks, game. Hmm. You're really uh, not helping. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the most useful hint to have in Lower Torvis. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're not wrong. All right, Slug's going to take it slow and steady here with slow bomb jumps up the cargo freight lift. Well, the, um, the punishment would be rather scary to uh, withstand. So Indeed. It's an understandable choice. It's also 
it's also a very uh, a very stable trick to do. It's uh, it's not very dangerous. It's not much risk oh. involved. We might have just found out where Boost Ball is, uh, Sanctuary Fortress somewhere. Well, can we get there at the moment? Uh, I think we can. Yes, we can go there via Sank Entrance. Yep, we have Dark Visor, correct? Uh, yep, we have Light Beam, Dark Visor, and Secret Missiles. Uh, we can also go the other way now, courtesy of Spider Ball and uh, Power Bombs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can pretty much toss the entirety of Sank at this point, minus some Annihilator checks. But a really yeah. important item can be found at Transmission and... Hmm. Unfortunate. That's right. Prime uh, Echo's boost rather was in Tower of Light. Uh, it didn't look like um, bios biohazard containment was anything useful. No, so it was now, it was Echo Z. Uh, still somewhat useful, but uh, yeah. So now Slugland is going to make her way back to um, probably the safe station. It's yeah, not, not much a whole. Left to. It's not much to be gained by backtracking and climbing back uh, frigate this way. All right, we're getting the uh, training chamber check here, and it is nothing. So mm -hmm. it's time to go to um, time to go to Sank. By the looks of it, yeah. And unfortunately, Xeno Wars uh, suffering a bit from the uh, from the phase on crates near in Dark Oasis near the portal, but able to make that. Uh, to make up for that lost health quite easily thanks to a good drop system. I know, right? Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, where we stand right now, we're still looking for screw attack. So uh, screw attack, vanilla screw attack would actually be really bad. Because that... <laughs> basically means the only way to get that is to go all the way the, the base actually it means you have to fight caretaker drone <laughs> uh yeah probably oh right we have cobalt translator too um uh, spider balls spider, spider ball is one it said some number of rooms away from what now i didn't catch that but doesn't oh. really matter we already found both of them so yeah it can be Oh, yeah. Uh, spider can be found run room away from um, Emerald Translator, which was the broom closet. And there's the oh, transit station. There's the transit station plasma beam for Slug. So, mm -hmm. so now Slug can practically full clear her seed minus a f couple of exceptions. And by a couple, I mean mostly the boost related ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that being said, given that Ray is now going to be going through Sank, it is only a matter of time, probably, before Slug picks it up. Unless, of course, Boost Ball is in, like, Airy or something stupid. <laughs> Airy is always stupid. Uh, you know where Boost Ball could be that would be really insulting? Sanctuary Map Station. Oh. Oh, no. I, I don't want that to happen. I... I still feel some sort of uh, compassion for our for our runners uh, this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have enough uh, commentary experience to have let go of my sense of compassion. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so now Slug's going to make a quick detour for Elder Chamber. Right. Given she has all beams, this is a this is a reasonable play to make. You don't you really don't want to miss out on something rather important that could be in there. Two item checks total and uh, unfortunate ghost layer. Uh, the hive temple keys are relevant. Uh, so how many hints does that leave us with? Um, we haven't seen the quad or do, have we seen the two most hint? I think we have. We haven't seen the quad hey, hint. I. I couldn't get I couldn't catch the Tumos hint if we got it. Um I think we might have actually not seen. I might be having seed bleed because I did play two seeds before this. Ooh, Ray trying to go for the scan dash instant morph into the tunnel like uh last time doesn't quite get it, but it is a missile tank, so no need to go too crazy about it. Yeah. Um, but interestingly, uh Ray is scanning the hint and then dipping. Um was that a morph um, ball? Yeah, related. Related. 
Oh, that can't be anything, since we already know Boost Ball's not in Hive. Yeah. Best thing it can be is Cannonball, which would be kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, looks like Kavina is... Uh is going for the um, the great tree hall play. Maybe we're going to see some bar skip action. Oh no, never mind. That is not <laughs> that is overgrown cavern. My bad. I didn't recognize the elevator. All right, we got another item in Elder Chamber that belongs to uh, Prime Two, and it is an energy tank and an STK in Hazencliff too. All right, so we had... Okay, so Light Beam was required. I mean, it's pretty much obvious at this point Amorbus was required, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, well, maybe not necessarily whether you like it or not, because Emerald Translator could theoretically be skipped in this case, but... All right, Xeno is about to get Violet Translator on the ship, and I think Avina might be in BK... Unless isn't bothering to go through uh, to Farfandrana yet. Which would be an odd choice right now. And Xenowars is finally finding uh, the Violet Translator on top of the ship. Yeah, unfortunately for them, it only opens up sand cache, and that's pretty much it at this stage. Yeah. All right, we're seeing a uh, we're seeing the secret world here in uh, Dynamo Works. This is for what is this for actually? Um, maybe for the uh, no that that wouldn't make sense to go for. A uh, good question. I have no idea. Uh, it could be to reach, um... Oh, opening the, um... It was for opening this, uh, boost ball, um... Lock from the other side of, um... Main Gyro, ah. probably. So... I do see, I'm, I'm going back to the Forgotten Bridge skip I was thinking about earlier. If Xeno can pull that off, that would actually save a lot of time on their end. Because right now, we know that behind that is Light Beam, which now we know locks um, at least a Sky Temple key. I don't think that's going to end up happening. I think Xeno's just going to fight Amorbus anyway. Because we do know that the last key is literally right in front of their face. Um, in Sandcash, and right in front of Amorbus on top of it. Yeah. So it might be might be an indication for Zeno to just go for it. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll see that play uh, coming up from I'm them. I'm still just baffled at how buried this screw attack is. Yeah, we still have no clue where it is. Um, that wasn't it in Sang Temple Access, right? No, it wasn't. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not, um, it's not down there. But yeah, we're now going to hear the words of O'Lear. Uh, yes, the last sentinel of the fortress temple. May they serve you well. All right, let, let's let's get some uh, some O'Lear appreciation in the chat right now <laughs> for the best character in Metroid Prime Two Echoes for the Nintendo GameCube. O'Lear enlightens us that Quad is dead today. Nice, thank you, O'Lear. All right, so Ray's got one more hint coming up here, and that is the one in Watch Station. Unfortunately, has to go around the long way here due to a lack of. Um, Due to a lack of Annihilator Beam. Um, both both our prime players going for the Minds play. Yeah, I feel like this is exactly where they need to be at this point. Just because... Um, yeah. 
that's well, I mean, granted, they full cleared the whole rest of the game, save for Farf and Drana, but even still. Yeah, it, there's a there's a lot of checks in there, and uh, even if uh, even if uh, Avina doesn't have plasma yet, the, the only thing it does effectively is uh, lock lower mines and uh, storage depot A. So all in all, it's still a bit a bigger part of uh, of mines, even without plasma. Yeah, and Zeno just got the hint in mining station B about Emerald translators, so this is actually going to work out quite well. Oh, what is Ray? Uh, what is Ray doing here? Scan dashing onto the drone. Oh, is this another oh, attempt? To, what is this? That might be a secret world, but uh, what for? Well, oh, down, no. down he goes. Unfortunate. But I've I've never seen that kind of secret world happen before. I'm not quite sure what the intention of that was either. Like. Well, with how far it was to go out of the, uh, out of, far out of the room, that I assume it was a secret world, but I've never seen anything like this. I'm not sure if that was a way to try and get Cannonball or to get Sentinel's Path, or I'm not quite sure what the plan was there. Double damage really helpful in this Spider Guardian fight. Uh, just because it opens up the switches a lot earlier. One yeah. full bomb salvo should do it. Oh, no. Oh, the the knockback. All right. So Xeno's going to bite the bullet here and go fight Amorbus by the looks of it after checking in cash four. What? <laughs> Sluglin pulling pulling out the the scan visor out of um, out of muscle memory, I presume. But um, yeah, still no shot with the randomized uh, with the hidden item models. Ooh, Ray being sneaky a, little, a bit there on that phase three spider guardian. Hmm. All right, next item on the to-do list for Prime 1 is Storage Depot A. It looks like Avina has already returned to Talon Overworld. I don't I don't know why. Did did something happen or I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh I don't see any major changes in loadouts, but it's a return to is this Chozo? Yeah, it's Return to Chozo. I think. Uh, why for, though? Oh, maybe it's the absence of Boost Ball that deterred them from, uh, from doing the Upper Minds Loop. That could be it. Mm. All right, Spider Guardian contains a missile. Uh, still going without this screw attack. Hmm. Yeah, we may have a rare screw attack go mode scenario here, folks. Yeah, those make for interesting seeds, at least. I am still very surprised, though, with the equipment he has, that Reisha has still not gone back for Sky Temple key hints yet. Because mm. he's only running four, and Xeno by extension as well. But we're yeah. still missing a lot of potential, uh, a lot of potential bad spots for Sky Temple keys. Well. Ray might be uh, waiting on screw attack for the cleanup, knowing that there is the um, the artifact in Under Temple. So that might be the train of thought going on. But uh, I'm not sure. Item picked up an elite research on Philip was Thermal Visor. Ooh, interesting. Well, that's going to make Essence a lot easier. Yeah, Thermal Visor at this particular stage, not really that useful. Yeah, not much. Ooh, Avina's going back for Training Chamber. And our last current hint in Sync reveals the Violet Translator in GFMC. Thanks, game! <laughs> yep. With the useful hints, as always. Well, actually, weren't there two... Oh, no, no, the uh, crate was a missile tank. 
Uh, I think so, yeah. It, it was a Prime 1 missile tank. Yeah, so that's hinting, that's hinting Viola Translator. Yeah. Ooh, Ray may managing to recover quite nicely uh, with the bomb slot there. Uh, so oh. the reason Ray fell there, and this this is something that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the it's the the thing about that particular bomb slot is that you have to do one of two things. If you manage to stay on the door, don't bomb jump while you're literally touching the bomb slot, because if you do that, you're gonna bonk off the bomb slot and you can't make the spider track. You have to scoot a tiny bit to the side. Uh, that's the other Inghive key, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's the last Inghive key. And Slugland is going for the for the boostless stress in order to um, get the upper item in Elite Research. Oh, this is this is going to be painful. And we've seen it all too many times in weeklies and tournaments. It's never a pleasant time. And an X-ray visor is not there to save you. Nope. Well, X-ray visor is there, but it just won't save you. <laughs> yeah, hidden item models. Now, uh, oh. going back on the uh, kerfuffle with the spider track. So, uh, what Ray should have done after the bomb slot is kind of just let Samus fall off just a little as the door was opening. There's just enough time to fall over a little and then slide over to the side for the door to catch you. Yeah, and once once you've been caught by the door, you kind of want to keep uh, keep hugging the wall as much as you can. So we're not going to see a plate of Vault. We're instead going to see Cat West. I would love to see Vault right now. The only downside is trying to check Vault right now would be a one way trip. Yeah, that might be a. Um... That might be a quick check for uh, Cat West before going into Vault. Yeah, it looks like it's the case. All right, and the item in um, Upper Elite Research is a missile tank. So we're having some questioning in chat on uh, on the Chica keys. Uh, I think we're standing right now at... Uh, yeah, we're standing at two of three Chica keys for both players. That actually does bring up a good point. Because we know that the last Chica key is either in Fendrana or Torvis, we know it's not in any of those areas. That confirms Dark Oasis is a Sky Temple key. Yep. So that is a required Power Bomb Guardian. So it's going to be Under Temple. Uh, that confirms Under Temple being a freebie then. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to Under Temple whether you like it or not. Yep. Um, what is that? I believe that's a respite. Well, no, not... I, well, yeah, <laughs> fair enough, but... Uh, but, yeah, what is actually in Vault? I can't catch that. I don't think it's Screw Attack. It's not bright enough. Didn't look like it. It's not big enough, not bright enough. But it looks like uh, Reisha is still uh, trying to get it. So it's probably something important. Dark ammo tank in elite control access. Oh, a bit unfortunate, but... Um... The elite pirate on the uh, just spotted Slugland, and now it's being um, it's throwing a bit of a tantrum there. Yeah. So the thing that um, the thing with these elite pirates is that their AI is um, is a little simplistic to say the least. So once they um, once they break out of their tanks, they will try to look at directly at you and then will initiate their... Oh, that was Boost Ball in... Uh, uh, in uh, so Prime that's, 1 Boost Ball. That's interesting information, though, because that is locked by Screw Attack. Unless the Boost Ball locks Screw Attack. You could be expected to wait here. Yeah. In that... which case, that is trash of the highest order. 
Yep. Yeah. Uh, so to finish my uh, my explanation on the elite uh, AIs, so once they break out of, the t of their tanks, they will first try to look at you directly in the eyes, and then they will initiate their AIs. So that means you can manipulate them by circling around them before they, uh, they manage to see you directly. So you can kind of abuse their AI, and they will not fight back while you rapid-fire missiles uh, into their heads. If they don't see you, you're not there. Indeed. But yeah, luckily, because um, Ray, again, only just had to send the item out, uh, he could just reset. And I believe saved sometime recently and sank. Well, I would save regularly, too, if I crashed in a race. I save regularly, uh, especially because I know I know I can crash in a race. <laughs> And looks like we're going to see Slug. This could either be Farfen or Plasma Processing, but at this point, that's pretty much all she can do. Um, yeah, I'm sure actually, so. No, I take that back. Slug can full clear her seed. Well, yeah, because that's all she can do at the moment. <laughs> all right, we got one more hint. Amorbus is guarding the Emerald Translator. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how we were supposed to get to this area of Sank in the first place. Thanks, game! <laughs> <sighs> Randovania rubbing the salt in the wound since um, quite a while. Rachel showing the the nice boost boost to get past this room. Now. What's Ray going to do? I think this is at the point I think where Ray's running out of checks and probably should go check hints now. Mm, yeah, I f I feel like that's the case. I don't I don't see much else they can they can do right now. Ray, what are you? That was dangerous. Unless Ooh. that crash was fixed. I think I. I didn't even know there was a crush in there. If you shoot the door too many times when the dome drops down uh, with the echo droid in the area and caretaker still alive, you crash the game. Oh, yes. It's on the same acubi of uh, holding R when you load into, centra into command center <laughs> from out of bounds. Zeno getting right. the plasma beam hint. But yeah, it looks like even um, despite the uh, what we've seen today, Team Orange Cat's still again being bottlenecked by this lack of screw attack for go mode. <laughs> the old, and there's only one more hint left in the game, and it's sank entrance, I think. Uh, no, that's a lie. There's two hints in meeting grounds we haven't seen yet because Ray never went to go check hints. So that's a pair of violet hints we're missing out on still. Yeah. Well, I think I think screw attack has to be uh, hinted, right? Uh, if it's in the echo seed, then yes. Yeah, it should be hinted. It's very mm. unlikely you would go with an unhinted screw attack. It's possible that some progression items can go unhinted. Um, it's not the most common out there, but it's something you do need to consider. Yeah. Well, even especially for something as uh, necessary to beat the game, screw attack. Because, like, there's no going around it, to my knowledge. There is, yeah, pretty much no way to go around it. Uh, and, I, yeah, I don't think we have a guaranteed screw attack hint. It's very likely it'll be hinted if it's in Echoes, but... Uh, so I, I was mistaken then. My bad. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no, like, guaranteed hint for a certain item in Echoes. Yeah, um, it's only the um, the... Temple key, temple guardian keys, and the temple guardians themselves. Yeah, and the um, phase on suit hint for prime. Yeah. I would really like to know where the sky temple key hints are, and where's Ray uh, right now? Yeah, this is under temple. Okay, so the artifact yep. is up top, but you have to defeat power bomb guardian anyway. 
Oh, but um, receiving cannonball though. Yeah, that came from uh, transport access. Definitely don't want to say no to that, but unfortunately, the artifact is behind screw attacks. So guess what? Uh, we're gonna have to come back later for that. Is there a way to BSJ up there? Um, if there is, I am not aware of it. Hmm. Yeah. There's probably not if uh, if Ray's not going for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's too high up. All right, but it's going to go for the Power Bomb Guardian fight itself. Now, wouldn't it be great if this was Screw Attack? That would actually just be a blessing for Team uh, Orange Cats. Yeah. Screw Attack, uh, Screw Attack anywhere at this point would be a blessing for them. Because yeah, I think uh, the only other major item left is a um, is Light Suit. Uh, well, oh, an yeah. Annihilator Beam, too. We haven't seen Annihilator Beam. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe maybe Floaty Jump would make uh, make that getting that without Screw Attack possible. But, um, yeah, I, I'm i no Echo Specialist. Count me out. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get the Security Cave and Storage Cave checks here. Uh, in the meantime, Avina is giving us a vent shaft play. Ooh, unlimited missiles on uh, on PB Guardian. Uh, it's nice, but it's not what we're looking for. But an SDK, though, that is what we're looking for. All right, another energy tank in storage cave. Security cave in the meantime. Uh, gravity suit. Which is kind of useful, actually, right this very minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. What if uh, what if screw attacks on Hydro Axis Tunnel? Oh my word. <laughs> that that would be awful. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing. And that's putting uh, it lightly. All right, we're seeing the central dynamo check from Avina. We're, what we're seeing here is I love this trick. If uh, oh, it didn't work. Uh, there's a way to skip the maze. Oh yeah, I think I saw that once or twice. You kind of just uh, dip in and out of the uh, of the maze. But I've never been able I've never been able to perform it. And yeah, unfortunately, Avina's stuttering a little bit, so I'm having a bit of trouble counting the squares of this maze. But it's already going to be at least thirty. I think it was like mid to upper thirties. But yeah, May Skip is an incredible trick. I remember the first day seeing it, and uh, I was I was impressed. Yeah, I was I was flabbergasted when I saw it first too. Well, Grapple Guardian, not the answer. So yeah, we're still missing Screw It for Echoes. We're still missing Screw Attack, Annihilator Beam, and Light Suit for a full clear. Whereas Prime, we're actually we can actually we can do literally everything. No, Billy Mays, go back to Super Metroid, please. <laughs> this is not Zebus. <laughs> Ooh, an Echo Visor looks to to have been in Under Transit One. Uh, so that... okay. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about Echo Visor. Oh, that could open up a few things too. Uh, yeah, it opens up a handful of checks. It opens up uh, Hive Gyro. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. Aries open, too. Oh, yep, Aerie. Forgot about Aerie. Mm. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what I'd actually love for there to be progression right now? Phase on Mining Tunnel. Because oh, there's no. never... There's <laughs> always, like, artifacts and keys in Phase on Mining Tunnel, but there's never, um... There's never actually major items. 
<laughs> yeah, that's... Well, I mean, there c there could be thermal visor. <laughs> I've had that happen. Oh, Zeno picked up a light suit from somewhere. Uh, MQA. Hmm. Oh yeah, that that could be from uh from there. Yeah, because um, Slug hasn't done uh, lower mines yet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and Avina is standing right in front of the plasma door, and Zeno's about to go pick up. Um, Zeno's about to get pick up plasma beam. So this actually routes out perfectly for all for no gain all pain. Yeah, uh, and when I said Avina, I meant Sluglin, but um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, of course, Avina couldn't have done um, couldn't have done mine yet because they don't have plasma. <laughs> All right, nothing of importance uh, by the looks of it in Ice Ruins East, because now we can finally check some of the plasma checks in Fendrana that we missed out on. Where's our progression? Nowhere to be found, it looks like. It's not in shorelines. That was Wave Buster. <laughs> yeah, Xeno needs to unfortunately do a 3 BSJ to get up here, and this is painful. At this point, it's either sunk cost fallacy or you just go ahead and do use the portal. Because at this point, this is where I think if it were me, I would stop. I would, oh, Avina's trying to type something, but um, it got lost in the uh, stutters. I think it was a smiley. Uh, that was a B, I think. Oh, yeah, I still can't. I can't make it out. Hey. Oh, Zeno gets it. Here we go. Oh, All nice. All right. It's go time for lower mines. Yes, uh, chat, we have checked underground tunnel. Funny enough, it was light beam. Yeah, progression. All right, lower mines for Avina. Now, if if legit, if no joke, Screw Attack is in phase on mining tunnel, and Zeno immediately goes for hints. There is a chance that No Gain All Pain can pull this one back, given the num given the sky, given we still have no idea where the vast majority of our remaining Sky Temple keys are. Yep, we're we're almost we're about to break two hours, and we oh. still have no idea. Oh, oh we found Screw Attack we Fungal Hall Attack. access. All right. Uh, well, Team No Gain All Pain now has a good chance of pulling that back. Yeah, the only thing is Zeno really needs to uh, go back for hints and find out what the path is. Yeah. And I think that is exactly what they're doing. They're going back for the save station in um, uh, Reactor Core. Unfortunately, you do have to take out Quentin to enable that. Wow, so Plasma Beam did in fact lock, um, Plasma Beam did in fact lock, um, good grief, what's the word? Uh, screw attack. So that was found in, uh, that was found in Sank. So that, thanks to the Emerald Hints for once again revealing some vital information. Yeah. I think that was an Emerald Hint. It might have been a Cobalt Hint. Uh, I, I don't remember. All right, we're getting phase on mining tunnel. Now, the one kick in the teeth here could be if Annihilator is still required, which given how many keys we still need is not a distinct impossibility. Yeah, and especially given we, given the fact we have found Echo Visor as well. Uh, indeed. And with Light Suit in tow, why not just go ahead and check Sank map? Yeah, this... That holds up. So not a lot of in the way of E tanks for uh, Zeno, only having two. While Raishai has um, a whopping six at the moment. Yeah, I'm not. I believe that has to partially do with the the checks that they had to kind of skip over due to, due to the BK scenario uh, with Dark Beam and all. So yeah, probably. Yeah, here's the save warp from Xeno Wars. We're going to see, hopefully, Sky Temple key hints now. 
But yeah, at this point, we're still missing four keys, and there really is not a whole lot of game left. I I think Annihilator Beam is required, whether we like it or not here. Hmm. What makes you say that? Because I'm just trying to think of how many checks are left in both players' games, and the number, I feel like, is less than 20. Hmm. Like, I really do feel like there aren't a whole lot of... There's, like, virtually no checks left for either players. There's a few more left in mines, and we know Dark Oasis is a Sky Temple key, so that actually is minus one. Yeah. So, yeah, that that holds up, actually. Um, looks like there was nothing in Training Chamber. Hmm. Ray having a very little difficulty with, um... Blue Guardian? Blue Guardian, yeah. And I don't think we've seen this yet, have we? Mm, nope. But well, it looks like yeah. it was nothing important. Yep, yeah, it was bait. It used to be believable. Although, if you want some comedy, uh, Sunburst double damage on Boost Guardian. One shot kill. Oh, yeah. The first time I was exposed to that, I did it entirely on not knowing what was going to happen. And Boost Guardian <laughs> just immediately popped out of existence. And yeah. uh, I was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> must have been uh must have been a great surprise though because it's boost guardian all right you most two is dead because yeah we still haven't seen this area yet um and Zeno oh there was another key in hall of honor dead that's right oh right yeah all right that's and... uh that's a torvitz key yeah oh that's is it is that the third one uh that would be yeah. yeah that's Ray's third one but we know Chick is dead already. Long dead. Oh, yeah. We got the hint a while ago. Oh, oh right. It was an artifact in Hall of Honor dead. That's right. That was one of the earlier ones, too, we learned about thanks to Ray. Yeah. Well, I I, I do think Slug uh, has checked her hints before Ray uh, went there. Because uh, I remember yeah. you mentioning we already knew about it when I pointed it out. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. All right, we're getting a cash B check here. Have we seen cash B? I feel like we should have, but maybe with um, some kerfuffles, maybe not. Nope, that's a beam tank. So yeah, like, are we done with this seat or do we actually still need annihilator beam? Because if we actually still need annihilator beam, now. Um, Okay, where's Slug going? This is going to be back to... Uh, where is this? Uh, this is back to... This might be the Hydro Access Tunnel. Yeah, I think she's checking Hydro Access Tunnel and then making her way to uh, Lower Mines. So I think this is all she has left to do right now. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what artifacts... Well, actually, artifacts won't matter at this point. Um, now, granted, Slug could finish if... She has already cleared her game, and there's guaranteed there's no way of finding um, uh, Annihilator Beam by this point, if it's required for, for what, for that matter. Now, we still have the Life Grove checks. We haven't seen this yet. Yep. Uh, that was due to a lack of boost ball, I think, previously. I think so, yeah. It's, uh, it's rather risky to go for without boost ball. All right, we've got an OP fight now from Avena. And I think that's another Sky Temple key in... Oh, no, never mind. That's an ECM. It was glowing bright enough, but it was unfortunately not a Sky Temple key. All right. Life Grove Tunnel. Nothing important. Because Prime is pretty much out of the game out of the game at this point as far as major items. Yeah. There's not much, uh, there's not much left in the way of uh, progression for Prime 1. So pretty much... Uh, Go mode minus artifacts. All right. Nothing of importance in Life Grove itself. And the item in Defiled Shrine is another beam tank. And uh, let's see. Ray just picked up. Let's see what that was in um, Life Grove. Uh, it was delivered. Was it a missile tank? Was it an energy tank? Not I sure, but it don't look like an it don't look like annihilator beam. Nope, I think it was an extra E tank. Probably, yeah, definitely by the health. Mm. All right, so 
Open up your notepads, chat. We are finally going to find out what our last Sky Temple keys are at two hours into the race. Yep, and Ray Shy is going for it too. Do we need Annihilator Beam? Hazencliff, we knew that already. Xeno yep. just hasn't gone around to it. Under Temple Access, we knew that one already. So yeah, there's only three unknowns, I think. Darko, well, oh, actually, make it, make it two, because yeah. we knew about that one too. In cash, cash two. two, it's there required. You, there you go. Annihilator beam required. Sentinel's, Sentinel's path. path. Well, looks like our uh, runners still have some work cut out for them. Have fun full clearing the whole rest of the game looking for that annihilator beam. Yeah, I don't know about you, but this uh, this Hondo uh, route is uh, is a little odd, don't you think? I know, right? Yeah. So so many uh so many like different weird routing choices. I mean mm -hmm. uh to answer question chat, Incash 2 is in dark bioenergy production. It's the annihilator door in the back. Uh halfway to vanilla light beam. Uh prime one item in hydro access tunnel, so it's not there. So, yeah, what does Prime 1 have left is the only problem. Because if Prime 1 literally has full cleared the seed, technically yeah. it would be better in this context to drop what they're doing and finish the game. Yeah, I think that with the combined efforts of uh, Slugland and Avena, we, we pretty much full cleared um, Prime 1. Yeah, so which means we, oh, uh, you know where it is? You know where Annihilator probably, it's, I, Annihilator, I think, can only be one of two locations, and they're both trash. Sank Entrance or Airy. Oh, no. Or, oh, uh, no. Alpha, or Alpha, actually, no. Did we get a, no. a hint for Alpha Blog? No, I think we, we already checked Alpha Blog. Uh, we might have, yeah. Yeah, because it, I, I do think that Reishai, uh, accessed Under Temple through, um, Right. Through Alpha Block, so it would be strange of them to not check uh, the item. To answer a question, chat, Screw Attack, yes, was in Prime 1 Fungal Hall access. Is Quad dead? Yes. What What was that pirate doing? That on Slugling screen, it went flying. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> I oh, would, no. that would be... I don't even think that was an I must go now my planet needs me trick because that was what that was going downwards. That was just what happens when yeah. double team goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> Chad, Chad answered it correctly. It learned how to scan dash. <laughs> I was about to say that, too. <laughs> It may, maybe it tried to BLJ off of some terrain or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it learned how to uh, bunny hop and air strafe. So uh, now they're basically unstoppable. Slowly right. showing off some uh, some nice some a nice climb using standables for um I can't remember the room name elite something elite. wait a minute wasn't there a beam related item in Ing Reliquary? The, oh, I, there was. I think there was. I even mentioned it could be super missiles. Yes, there was. Oh, we could have annihilator beam in Ing Reliquary. Which means Zeno is actually in a great spot right now because lights. Well, granted, um, I think Slug's about to get light suit soon in MQA. Yeah. Um, oh, could we? be could be Fortress Transport access. We haven't seen this hint yet either. Ice beam hint. Ice Thanks, beam. game. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was an either beam in FTA. I don't think so either. It looked like a missile expansion. That's this is Zeno doing the rest of the upper dark Torvis checks, and I think that's going to be the end of Zeno's dark Torvis dive. I oh, right, poison so, bog. Yeah. Oh, this is also beam related. Oh, yeah, it was. Ah, uh, uh, dark ammo expansion. Uh, 
All right, we're going to see Sank Entrance, though. This has been in play for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing that some uh, high-caliber explosives won't solve. Now we can get a better idea of how bad the maze was. So it was 10 squares at the electric gate, 15 at the puddle... 23 at this puddle. Oh, that's right. Avina still still hasn't found boost. Uh, yeah, because you know didn't go to uh, vault yet. And right. at this point, doesn't really have any reason to. So, yeah, we're probably going to see some boostless Ridley action on uh, Avina's end. Yeah, because... Um... Okay. Also, uh, I did confirm it was a 39 square in May, so I was right in the upper third. I was close when I said mid 30s. Zeno's going for an ammo refill. I hope this isn't for a chica fight, because we know this is dead. Yeah. Uh, Could have simply been for the. Uh... For the power bombs and or missiles. That's fair enough. Yeah. This also gives Ray one more hint. And it's not Annihilator Beam. Mm. All right. This hint reads, the Echo Visor <laughs> is two rooms away from Sacrificial Chamber. Thanks, game. We are out of hints. Yeah. So, unhinted. Unhinted required annihilator. Now, there's ways to skip both of those. You could skip Sentinel's Path and Incash too. I think Sentinel's Path requires the NSAU, which is ridiculously tough. Uh, some sort of the NSAU. I've never heard of that. Is this some uh, sort of screw attack on morph thing? SA yes, yeah, screw attack on morph. Basically, how it works is. It, it's it's basically a combo of out of bounds plus uh, screw attack on morph, yeah. Oh right. Which we'll see if Ray decides to go for it now because uh, he's immediately turned around after picking up uh, getting screw attack in fungal hall access. Um, we got the hint, which was beam related, but I do not think we got the check yet. Not yeah. that I remember, at least. Yeah. Luckily, with power bombs, these uh, these things are a joke. Which is it's yeah. that's it's what they were designed to be. You fight power bomb guardian, you come back, and suddenly the droids are active. Hmm. Turns out the ink smashers aren't power bomb smashers. No, they're smashed by power bombs. Yeah, they're power bomb smashed. Raisha is saying hi to Quentin and bye to Quentin. Yeah, the way Ray's playing this, I feel like he might be looking to skip Annihilator Beam. That, which might be the play, because um, given the situation for the Prime players, uh, even... I, I'm sorry. I, was, I I meant to finish my sentence, but I was off put. I was off put by Boo Boo's Guardian. <laughs> nice one, chat. <laughs> Why did I volunteer? Where, where can I unvolunteer? I guess it's too late. Two hours in now. Well over two hours in. Yeah, this has just been. Let's be honest here. This seat is a train wreck. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. This is a ZDR-sized freight train wreck. <laughs> so yeah, what we're going to see here is Ray is... Oh, busting out. Okay. Oh, it's going to be in cash two first. I see. Yeah, this is going to be a... Yeah. This is going to be just some simple out-of-bounds. This shouldn't be too, too crazy. Mm. All right. 
in the meantime, Sluglin is making her way to uh, Omega Pirate. Finally, full clearing her game, I believe. And uh, Ray seems to get seems to be getting a life growth tunneled in uh, in sand processing, but fortunately gets the BSJ and just bypasses the need for boost ball. Xeno's having a little bit of trouble with Plaza here. Although I don't think we've seen Plaza due to a late boost ball. Yeah, I think that's uh I think that's the case. Hmm. Yeah, Plaza Plaza's a tricky one to do quickly and correctly. Um, it's actually cost me a tournament once. I mistook a missile expansion here for super missiles. Or I mistook oh. the super, super missiles that were here for a missile tank. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I did not feel good about that. <laughs> I, I, by proxy, do not feel good about that. I do remember uh, a somewhat recent race I did uh, against Sam, where I routed this rather well, and I had a chance to... Uh, I, I think I could have come close to uh, beating him. Unfortunately, I hot-dogged my boost ball in Vault. That was very early, and I basically full-cleared my game trying to look for it. Oh yep. So we've but we've been there then. We've both been there. As <laughs> wow, Zeno recovered that one nicely. Too bad it's not an annihilator beam. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, what I meant by hot dogging the boost ball was forgetting about it, please. <laughs> yeah, for, 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 the, for the sake of reference here, uh, yes. that yeah, the, fra okay. the phrase uh, the phrase hot dogging, for the, I guess we should clarify, it comes from yeah. last year's Cross Game Cup, uh, where Team Hot Dog uh, had a uh, incident where uh, the Prime player last lo uh, forgot to pick up Light Suit for Echoes, which was in Crossway. And they saw it and did not pick it up at the time. Yeah. yeah. Just, just for the sake of anybody who may be watching the VOD in the future and has no idea and is not familiar with Cross Game and has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So to repent for that, I think I'm going to eat a sock. Oh, uh, no. Don't do that. Those don't. I, I, I hear they don't taste that great. Uh, you'd be surprised. That being said, can we please find this Annihilator Beam now? <laughs> I guess um, it was night. It was nowhere to be found so far. No, it uh, wasn't. I, in, I it wasn't in feeding pit. Yeah. And yeah, I think Slug is actually about to go and complete uh, complete her seed. Because yeah, she's full cleared her game. There's nothing else she can do. Better yeah. to stop the timer now and uh, only do the rest of. Um, only have one player's clock uh, ticking up. For those not in the know, how this works is um, for timing is that the combined times of both runners are calculated as their final times. Therefore, uh, it is more effective for one runner to finish early in order to stop one clock and let the other one uh, and only progress your combined time at half speed. Not quite sure what Avina's doing here. This is, uh, this might actually, this is back to landing site, right? I think so. Um, yeah. Look, oh no, other it, way. No. Mm. Uh, it, it doesn't help that Annihilator is buried. Like, like yeah. we're not finding this Annihilator beam. I think Ray was checking stuff in hopes of seeing if we can maybe get around it, but he's just not going to have this luxury. He's going to have to do his, um, his uh, advanced trickery here in order to pull this off. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, as Chad is putting it, uh, Slug is also waiting for her um, artifact in uh, Under Temple. Right. So yeah, we're gonna see a uh, simple out of bounds traversal here for uh, in Cash Two. 
Getting that out of bounds with that screw attack is actually another one of my favorite screw attacks into tunnels uh, in the light world. So that way you could skip the vent area B puzzle. Unfortunately, when I tried to do it in my practice today, I did get the screw attack, but then the tunnel rejected me when I morphed. Oh, no. And I had to ether jump my way back up. Not fun. Yeah, you know, feels like uh, having to ether jump your way back up um, mini gyro. Oh, yep. After accidentally cannonballing your way through the uh, damage field. Yeah, or just ignorantly going through it uh, backwards. Oh, no. Oh. That's a fall. Ooh. Yeah, because in cache 2 and by extension storage C's ether box is extremely weird because in cache 2, okay, that was just, that just made it look easy <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, that's, um... Warping like that inside of a room is definitely not easy. And uh, Ray's just made, made it look like it was a simple cakewalk, pretty much. All right, and now, so now trying to get back out of bounds. Right. Trying to do a BSJ SAU? Yeah, and, and, and I've seen, now the SAU, an incredibly powerful trick, but I've seen this kill runs. I've seen, I've seen this kill, kill weeklies. So definitely, definitely a very high risk, high reward trick. Um, well, I, I think Ray went for it while, uh, while Sluglin still had, uh, still had checks left. And, uh, now that Sluglin's made her way to, uh, Artifact Temple after full clearing her game, uh, Ray is in the middle of, uh, of doing his trickery to skip Annihilator. Right, so that we'll would explain why Ray is, uh, doing this right now. Yeah, all right. At the moment, um... I think Avina's last checks here are um uh do -ba -do -ba -do, are the ones in um frigate. So after this, I believe this is their last uh check and they'll be probably going straight to artifact temple because Zeno's about to go get the under temple artifact. Um uh, because it is right here and does now Zeno can't forget to fight Power Bomb Guardian here because we've seen this kill a race as well, way back when. Mm. Um, where on a Dark Oasis was required, somebody didn't pick up the item, and it, result, it resulted in a double forfeit, actually, because the runner, uh, another runner, uh, the other runner in that race had unfortunately, um, forfeited prior. Yeah, the, it's, the last, uh, the last one is Under Temple, uh, for artifacts. Slugling has, um, has kindly put that up while, uh, we are waiting. Thank you, Slug. Yeah, like I don't know how precise this uh this essay um this uh secret screw attack secret world is. I, I imagine it has to do with the semi out of bounds in cash two collision. I don't know if there's not enough yeah. forward momentum here or I'm I'm this is not a um trick I'm familiar with, but yeah, this this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting because yeah, it once uh, Avina finishes, and yeah, it looks like um, it looks like he's about to quit out and go back to landing site here. Which, if that's the case, um, just wait for the uh, Under Temple artifact, which will be any minute now. So yeah, this uh, I think this is a rare case, folks, where we're actually seeing Prime full clear their game and basically sit back and wait for Echoes. <laughs> All right, and it looks like Zeno did pick up the key on the wall uh, before the Power Bomb Guardian fight. So yeah, I yeah. think Zeno may have instructed Avina at this point to just go and finish the seed. Yeah, and in the meantime, Ray has finally got that secret world out. 
All right, one more ceiling warp later, and this should put him back in dark bioenergy. Uh, did Ray screw attack by accident? Yeah, Ray screw attack oh, by. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I uh, believe I believe that's what uh, that's a GG. And unfortunately, that was a Sky Temple key, so Ray's got to do that again. Oof. Do that again or find Annihilator very, yeah. very quickly. Yeah, that's definitely going to be, that's definitely hemorrhaged a lot of time. Now, that being said, Zeno, I think, is still going to be playing this as though they need Annihilator Beam anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's see how bad the damage is here. Uh, Ray's in-game time is 1.32. Oh, that's that's going to send him back a significant number of minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Back to Dark Aegon. Obviously, after translators. Uh, oh, it's right in front of the room. Yeah. Never mind. The end game. Oh, you know what it is? Raising game time is already way too low because of the crash. Yeah, that's right. I was about to. I was about to think of that. Yeah. So yeah, he's okay. <laughs> uh, but it does look like he's giving up for now, and is warped to start. So I think this is going to be Ray going back for the under temple key and just helping Slug finish up here. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'll, t I'll tell you this much. I am looking forward to this interview. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot to to speak of right there. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack with this seed from the logic, from having to fight Amorbus for Dark Beam, not Dark Beam for Emerald Translator for Light Beam, Dark Beam on Ghosts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of diverging decisions going into this routing too, on the on behalf of both teams. Yeah, and we've seen some interesting strengths and weaknesses out of both routes. Uh, for example, no gain on pain, able to get suits a little bit earlier, able to get screw attack a little earlier, uh, but uh, left out prime boost ball from not being able to go to vault. Whereas on um, Team Orange Cat's side, uh, we see the case here where we're missing the Under Temple artifact, but uh, their advantage was getting the um, Amorbus knowledge way earlier, and the more and mainly due to the fight. And even with Rayshai's crash, um, still able to um, recover a lot of that lost time. All right, doesn't look like Annihilator's in phase on. We are seeing the Reliquary hint uh, check, rather. So yep. this has been hinted at us for a very long time. This could just be Annihilator Beam, and this could be GG. Yep, that might just put Ray back into an advantageous position. All right, a couple light shots, and Reliquary is Annihilator Beam. All right. Friends and friends and visitors of Speed Gaming, we present to you Trash. Yep, this is uh, this is what we call a garbage seed. This is complete trash. We needed Light Suit. We needed Plasma Beam to get Light Suit in the first place. Actually, no, we didn't. It was an MQA. We needed it for Screw Attack, though. Yep. Not to mention the Dark Beam on Ghosts. Yeah, Dark Beam on Ghosts, Emerald Translator to Light Beam behind Amorbus, and um, Annihilator, Required Annihilator Beam behind Ing Reliquary. I would not like to be the poor sod on the, on the wrong end of the seed. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, but with that said, that does put Team Orange Cats properly in go mode. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, Ray is just going to rush it to Under Temple, allow Slug to finish her game, and then clean up the last two uh, SCKs. Yeah, just unfortunate that the keys are very, very spread out right now, because the remaining keys are Sentinel's Path, which is on the polar opposite end of Sanctuary, Under Temple, which is on the polar opposite end of Lower Torvis, and Ink Cash 2, which is on the polar opposite end of Dark Aegon. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think there's still a way to route, um, to route the last two SCKs rather nicely, due to the, uh, thanks to the elevator in, uh, Thanks to the uh, Sank uh, Volt side elevator. 
Oh, no, yes. that's spider side. That Sorry. is spider side in uh, from Aegon. Yeah, what I think Ray's gonna do is use staging area to get up to aerial training site and get the Sentinel's path key. Go down Cat West to get the go to Torvis and get the artifact, and then use that elevator afterwards to turn around to Aegon to go for Incash Two. At least I think that's the plan. That's probably the play. That that's the routing that I think would make the most sense. And yeah, look at the trackers for Team Orange Cats. They are both filled to the brim. I don't even see where Flamethrower was, but uh, yeah, completely <laughs> full trackers on Team Orange Cats tonight. Now, interesting thing to note, because Reishai skipped Quentin the first time, it's not there. So had to do the box screw attack over the thing, uh, the over the wall trick again in order to get through. Have to do that every time now. Yep. Turns out Quentin is um, Quentin is a little um, is a little mad at is a little mad at Samus for just um, leaving MB and in in his thirst for revenge just locked down the entirety of Reactor Core. But yeah, the the hidden item models have been an uh, have been an interesting RA to play with, to certainly, say the least. Certainly an interesting RA, but I think the real meat and potatoes of this run still came from Echoes, if I may be brutally honest. Yeah, I mean it's more than the the meal and potatoes. That's just the full course at this point. Yeah. Now, granted, there was still some great stuff going on in Prime again with. Uh, MQA light suit required and uh, fungal hall access um, lower mines uh, screw attack. So still plenty of uh, stuff to see in Prime, but yeah, I think I think the logic for Echoes was just unbearable, practically. Yeah, really, and that on top of having to wait for the first beam on on the behind the boss on Prime's end is just. Yeah. Uh, you start late, you finish late, and uh, along the way, there's some dumb stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, I think um, Zeno not, uh, or I, I should say Avina taking a while for Dark Beam and Zeno being late to Broom Closet for that Spider Ball on top of it, uh, really kind of compounded on top of everything. And unfortunately, they just don't have enough time to recover. It did. They did definitely uh, make a lot of it after uh, make the most of it after uh, go making the mines play. But um, unfortunately, just um, it's not going to work out. Now, that being said, folks, uh, we're not done with Cross Game Cup action. We've got two more races due out tonight. The first one should be actually already halfway, half an hour underway, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I'm checking the schedule... Oh, it starts in five minutes. Oh, well... Hmm. I have something to watch right after this one, then. Uh, yep, Team Orange versus Green versus Aether Tablet. Uh, we'll be going off on, uh, going, uh, facing off, going on SG4 in just a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> and next up at 7 p.m. on, back here on this very channel, assuming we somehow don't go at a 7 o'clock, which I'd be very surprised if we did, um, uh, I get to play with my pal Arrow Razor against Nicey, uh, Team Nicey. So look forward to those races, chat. We are not no, we are not done here tonight, and it doesn't stop there, folks. We have got another four races slated for this upcoming Sunday, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. We've got uh, uh, Slucal versus Wendy's Dollar Menu. Uh, that is uh, uh, Slucky and Callum Chiss versus Despise and Hunch Bunny. Uh, Two o'clock. We've got Partners in Prime versus Sunshine Spark. Uh, 
3 p.m. Uh, Team Orange Cats once again goes up, uh, comes up uh, to bring you folks some more action versus Aether Tablet. And then at 4 p.m., we've got Ultimate Hope versus Dreadless Abomination. I love that team name. Uh, that is at 4 p.m. So every hour starting from 1 p.m. Eastern on December Sunday, December 10th, look forward to even more Cross Game Cup action. <laughs> Yeah, and just now I'm realizing how much orange there is in this uh, in this uh, tournament. Orange cat, orange versus green, green versus orange. Indeed. Hmm. All right, and Sluglin is showing off a nice tame meta Ridley. Uh, yeah, doesn't want to cooperate. Well, just shoot the mouth, and it will. Well, actually, it's more complicated than that. Uh, when Ridley is preparing to, uh, to charge at you, uh, supposedly, you're supposed to be able to, uh, shoot its mouth to stop it from doing that. However, on the earlier versions of the game, the, the, the hand hitbox was so large, it would basically just, um, well kind of cover the entirety of the of the mouth and you would just not be able to shoot uh, without very price precise timing and aiming and this is what Slug has been pulling off showing yeah. off an awesome way to just tame Ridley yeah I believe starting from pal version onward Ridley's head now angles uh, away from the hand in uh, that animation so you have a much easier time hitting the uh, stun in that case yeah and that makes that fight a whole lot easier unfortunately they patched the boost ball I think yeah that was patched I think might have even been patched as early as players choice I'm not sure mm, probably I know pal so patched out the vast majority of glitches I don't remember if Pal also yeah. introduced the one bomb in air thing, or if that started with, with, um, with Prime Three. Um, I, I don't remember. Hmm. So now Sluglin is uh, fighting uh, Exo already through the power beam phase, and now going through the slug that is, um, that is wave beam. Fortunately. Yeah, I, I do feel like Team uh, Orange Cats are still sweating a little bit, uh, especially with everything that has happened, because if you look at it, especially from Ray's perspective, he's thinking, I've crashed, I've last location my Annihilator Beam and had a late screw attack, and somehow we have not lost this race yet. Um, so you have to imagine that both runners are sweating buckets at this point. Uh, both uh, teams, rather, are sweating buckets at this point. Yep. And uh, Slug showing off the, the some nice ice spreader strats here. All right, now it's it's down to sub chamber three, uh, going on the power beam phase. So this is uh, this is rather good, actually. Yeah, ideally, I think you want power wave ice in this case, something along that line. Mm, I no. think I think it's better to have power ice wave because if you use if you have ice spreader, you can just skip the wave phase. That's true. That's true. Mm. Oh, yeah. unfortunately, getting hit with the uh, with the wave ray from uh, from Exo. So that just. Temporarily disables lock on and getting the the shot off the of the charge. Nice. All right, Ray has acquired the Sentinel's path key. He's now on his way back to uh, in Cash Two, while Zeno is going for Spider Guardian in an effort to find this Annihilator Beam. It's really unfortunate that I I'm not sure if. Uh, Zeno just forgot the hint about Reliquary or just hasn't been considering because of how out of the way it is. Um, but yeah, it, it's especially painful. And again, and this has happened to me before as well, where you have a hint for something and you just don't act on it. Yeah, just based on how vague it is, 
and how early into the game it is and then it just becomes this situation where it's kind of just uh, a critical hint now that there aren't many checks left yeah i think i think a question that i think every runner asks themselves at one point is when do i start going for the one-offs in a seed uh because in this yeah. case a lot of the one-offs were unfortunately the uh the answer with uh amorbus and uh, all that jazz so it, it's it's a tough question because every seed is different every seed is a lesson um yeah, so, yeah, to answer chat's question, yeah, beam-related kind of encompasses all that is beam, beam ammo expansions and beam combos. Uh, I think the uh, unlimited beam ammo and double damage enter this category, too, but I'm not certain uh, of what I'm talking about here. Uh, double damage? I don't remember what double damage qualifies as, but it might be beam. It's probably beam-related. Mm -hmm. But, yes, unlimited beam ammo is definitely beam-related. Uh, and um, dub and uh, missile related is obviously qualifies for unlimited missiles. Yeah. Sluggling getting some rather poor RNG for subchamber four, unfortunately. Yeah, Exo has been a little cruel the last couple of days for subchamber fours. Granted, she's doing fine. It's almost over. One more good yeah. plasma shot here should plasma do it. Plasma shot and uh, done. All now, right, unfortunately, that's uh, exo done. Let's hope that Essence cooperates a little more. Oh, right. Skipping the cutscene must delete the energy balls. Okay. And meanwhile, Ray picks up Sky Temple Key, the final Sky Temple Key. That is his ninth, and it's time for him to go finish. Yeah, I think at this point, it's just better for him to save warp. Uh, it is, absolutely. Um, especially with an energy controller start. Yeah. Just go down the Torvus elevator and, uh, and take the uh, Hall of Eyes uh, portal. But yeah, a fantastic race from our runners. Uh, um, and a, what a what a trash seed. Like, I don't know if that's the absolute worst we've seen in the tournament, but I think it's already pretty up there. Yeah, and even considering with uh, all this, even considering all the stuff that this seed's been throwing at our runners, I still believe that they did really well. Yeah, because despite everything, you know, this could have easily, like, especially trickless, this is easily a three-hour seed plus. Oh, absolutely. At least in my view. Hmm. I, I know I would have taken way longer than that because. Um, I'm not very good at Echoes, and I'm only halfway decent at Prime, so... I know our runners here are showing some uh, exceptional uh, exceptional skill and some uh, some really good uh, handling of the, of the situation, some really good improvisation. Uh, so, yeah, we've got we've gotten an excellent race from both of our teams here. And it looks like Slug's just about to wrap up here. I think she's just attack canceling to the next pool as insurance. Never mind. That is going to do it. Slug lens race time. GG time is, if I can find it, uh, two, 235. Two 35 minutes, 46 seconds. Uh, yep. Looks like race time has it as a 235.47. But mm -hmm. fantastic. We're going to see Ray finish up now, too. Yep. Now, I should, it should be noted that at some point along the way, Xeno did find Cannonball and did use it against Spider Guardian. Not quite sure uh, where that was, unfortunately. I can't remember either. But yeah, at this point, you know, there ain't going to be any secrets in those Prime credits. We have seen yeah. literally everything. Everything's been checked. The game has been full cleared. That is unfortunate.
Yeah, so now I'm curious where Flamethrower actually was. PCA. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not that not that, that uh, means a whole lot because it's Flamethrower, but even still. The validation, though. All right, so at this point, uh, yeah, Ray's going to be done in probably two and a half, three minutes. Hopefully does not get centered by DS4 because that would just be... A, t a terrible end to a terrible seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it really depends on which method uh, they're going to go for. If they're going to do the, the screw attack method or the dark beam and, and spam missiles method. Yeah, I would say that um, personally, I like the dark beam method just because there's a chance if you try screw attack that Dark Samus just never throws up her shield and that the slightest tickle on her throws her into DS4. So it's a good practice to make sure the shield is actually going up first. And for that reason, I prefer to use Dark Beam Missiles so that when the shield goes up, it should pretty much work every time. Now that all being said, uh, Ray, in the meantime, having a relatively pleasant Emperoring 1 and 2, dealing with Emperoring 3 now. Ooh, careful, Ray. I don't know if uh, crashing the game when the lasers are on screen got patched out. All right, and uh, Ray just being done with Emperor Ring 3, just giving it the good old screw attack treatment and uh, escaping Dark Aether. there slug welcome to the booth uh gg to you thank you uh we're a little bit um we're a little bit ahead um at the moment we are uh, just about to see ray having a practically flawless dark samus uh four skip with dark beam and that is gonna do it so folks team orange cats finishes uh ray's finishing time is a 240 34 meaning the combined total comes out to give me a second i can mat this out <laughs> Uh, it comes out to be a roughly, uh, that is going to be a 5, 5, uh, 5, 16, uh, I want to say 21, question mark? Yeah, 5, 16, 21 is the final time. So, yes, Team Orange Cats, congratulations. Uh, Avina and Zeno have DNF'd. They will not be finishing. We will see if they'll join us for an interview, but we are joined by Ray. Congratulations to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, about that Annihilator Beam. I, I am not happy. <laughs> I am very upset. <laughs> this, was, this was up there amongst one of the probably the worst seeds so far. Yeah, that was really bad. For like an entire hour, I was just begging for screw attack. And then... Once I finally got it, I was like, okay, I can break the game now. And I spent four minutes in Incash 2 only to lose. Only to lose yeah. the SDK. Yeah, so the big break for you, despite everything that happened, uh, was that, unfortunately, uh, Avina did not get early wild, so was not able to give Zeno Dark Beam. And on the flip oh. side, Zeno was not able, did not go to Trial Tunnel right away to get Avina Spider Balled in order oh, to no. retry for the Dark Beam. 
Oh no. So that slowed yeah. them down a lot. Um, they were the first to screw attack. Um, but Zeno is currently looking for Annihilator Beam. The lesson of this seed is don't forget your uh, key bear hints. Yeah, you know the worst part is I remembered that one, but it was like, no, no, surely, surely it's an ammo expansion. I can just do the for, rounds. I would like to note for the last half hour, I was telling him, hey, yeah, go was, go she, to Ing Reliquary. She was kind of screaming at me. Noted. I was like, yeah, 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 I'll do it later. <laughs> uh, that uh, That was a full clear seed, by the way. I yeah, we hated that. We noticed that. Uh, PCA being flamethrower is just icing on top. <laughs> yeah, like, it's maybe this is something good. Maybe it's not. Hello, hello. All right, we are joined by Team No Pain, all yeah. No Gain, All Pain. GGs to the both of you. Uh, yeah, I think that about sums it up. Uh, all Pain, <laughs> at least, uh, very much sums it up tonight. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Um, so you're probably not gonna like this, but Annihilator Beam was an Ing Reliquary. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appropriate reaction, I might add. <laughs> yeah, so um to bring you both kind of together in on things that happened. So Ray unfortunately had a crash right after defeating a Morbus. I'm not quite sure what caused yeah, it. I I don't know. I think it was a lair a lair thing with the fight since they hit the bubble. Oh, with the um oh and you yeah, power bomb both I that ing and yeah. and the reinforcement ing. So that I, may I've have caused never, it. I've never had that crash before, but I'm traumatized now. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. So that set that set you back like never 20... happened before. Yeah. Um now that being said, um, you know re you recovered quite nicely. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, the main hiccup for Team No Gain All Pain is that, unfortunately, uh, late Spider Ball and by extension Dark Beam. Yeah, that was uh, a half. I was waiting in lab, so I just did that first. Yeah, it didn't help that. Um, one of the keys was behind super missiles and it also didn't help that viola translator needed for a key was behind was on the ship yeah that was really unfortunate yeah. backtracking i also may have gotten the super missile bit wrong because that that might be seed bleak because i had super missiles locker required a morbus key earlier tonight so so sorry that might be seed bleed but yeah yeah, yeah the super weren't required yeah i'm thinking of something else but yeah supers were very late for echoes yeah they were ice ruins east. I think. Um, lighthouse. Upper? Lighthouse. Okay. Lighthouse, right. Yeah. yeah. Lighthouse. Um. So that all being said, I mean, I don't. I mean, we we've we've all we've all seen it. I mean, uh, this seed was just not. <laughs> it was just a ridiculous. It was a train wreck to say I, the least. Um. I thought the first seed we played was bad, but holy. <laughs> Yeah, train wreck is uh, the understatement of the year. That's. Can we can uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> you have my condolences. Um, it seemed like the entire time that both of us were very nearly BK. <laughs> yeah, this there was a very long echoes BK, uh, uncharacteristically long echoes BK early on. So I'm I'm curious to think are are. Are you? Do you think that's going to be a regular occurrence um, for for the Echoes players? Do you think that's going to be a regular occurrence as we continue through the rest of the tournament? I, I would hope not. <laughs> um, well, I hope because I mean it is uncharacteristic, so I have my hopes up that it won't happen again. But another late screw attack seed as well. Yeah, another yep. late screw attack seed is something I'd like to avoid. Yeah, that that's was actually a... three <laughs> late screw attack seeds in the last two days. <laughs> Oh, Amazing. no. All right. Well, with that said, um, any thoughts, uh, further thoughts for the uh, for you on the remainder of the tournament, on the remainder of the group stage? Uh, I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to, to our, our matches. Uh, yeah, to our matches yeah. tomorrow. And then against uh, Ginger and Baja, that one should be pretty fun. Yeah. I'll yeah. race next Wednesday to Dorando. 
Oh, oh your rando seed. That's right. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Boy. All right. Well, with that said, oh. yeah, the item randomized. You don't know what you're getting, but thing I've ever done in a <laughs> randomizer. Just like, oh well, you got to go for. Know what that could be? Wonderful. Uh, yeah, that's that's been quite the the exhibition that this RA has put on for the for the Prime Games. <laughs> yeah, it was quite interesting listening for a the audio cues from the Prime pickups as well as keeping an eye on the auto trackers to see what mm -hmm. like what changed yeah. what changed did something flicker? Yeah, there were a few times mm -hmm. where I picked up an item and I was just like, oh wait, this didn't play the important cue. It was my item. I didn't get anything. Well, that's a nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, given this was your, uh, Avina, given this was your first time doing uh, hidden item models, scans, and names, uh, now that raises the question, would you do it again? 100%. <laughs> I can, I can respect that. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> With that said, uh, I don't have any further questions. Um, Bello, any from you? Uh, I'm good as well. With that said, why don't we uh, close our things out here? So once again, folks, a big GG's to our runners, uh, Sluglin and Rayshai of Team Orange Cats and Avino and Xeno Wars of No Gain All Pain for their wonderful performance on this Saturday evening. Uh, thank you, Bello, for joining me in the booth on this uh, as on this match as well. Quite, quite the entertainment. Yeah, thank you for having me as well. Um, and thanks to Speed Gaming for putting all of these matches, by the way, up on air today, because we have five matches today, and they're all getting getting shows, which is incredible. Um, so, again, many thanks to Speed Gaming for getting all this put together for us. With that said, folks, uh, SG4 currently has a race right now with uh, best with uh, Team Orange versus Green and Ether Tablet. And at 7 p.m. right here on this very channel, uh, me and Arrow Razor of the best seed rollers will be taking on Nicey. So look forward to that, folks. There's a lot to be uh, still do tonight. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next mission. See you next mission. See you next mission.